It's the holidays. Happy anniversary. Just kidding. Comedy Bang Bang, welcome back. Uh, we're here with Cake Boss Cake and Boss. Ho Ho the Naughty Elf <laughs> and the Timekeeper. TikTok. <laughs> yes, of course. And um, speaking of time, it's uh, okay. Oh, don't, real don't get too excited. He's this, real ooh. interested. It's been about. It's, it's been, been wow. Well, enough. Enough. <laughs> It's been about five months since we said hello to this gentleman. A wonderful amount of time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How many NBA quarters would that be, I wonder? May I have one of your calculators? Mm-hmm. Let, me guess. <laughs> Let me guess. It's about uh, 122 NBA quarters in a day. So five Carry the months. one, do the two over the three. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that uh, that's an Elton John song, isn't it? Yeah. Goodbye, listeners. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. listeners yeah. of this podcast. <laughs> About 3,980 NBA quarters since we've seen mm. this gentleman. Worth the wait. <laughs> and uh, he was, uh, don't we'll describe your sort of bio, biography. Well, I, you know, I could describe it, uh, or I could just say my name, but I'd rather just describe it for you. You know, I played in a rock band. These will be the clues I'll give the <laughs> listeners. I played in a European rock band with two guitarists, one bassist, and a drummer, and that drummer's name was my very best friend, Ringo. Okay, I'm guessing you're John Lennon. Well, I know that, because you you're can, sitting... Because you can see me, yeah, sure. Yes, I'm John Lennon, that's right. Has it been that long since I've been on, Scott? Uh, yeah, I mean, you were on in uh, January, as I recall, and uh, this, is, this is May, or Ma. Certainly is. Yeah, what, what have you been up to? Now, we all remember your last appearance. You were talking about how you have you never died. I, well, I, no, no, you died for five years. For four years, I four died. Years. You know, I got mm. shot through the heart outside my house, you know. Four years. <laughs> Fell dead right away. Buried and then decided I've got to be alive again. I like it so much. Yeah. Okay, that answers all my questions. (laughs) Yep. So, uh. Four years, a wonderful amount of time. (laughs) One could almost complete college in that time. Mm hmm. One could uh, complete the presidency of the United States. Or the presidential fitness test. <laughs> <laughs> it took you that long to complete the presidential fitness test? The visa in reach was hard. <laughs> okay. <well. laughs> um, I don't mean to distract. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. No, but I do frequently. <laughs> Well, John, what have you been up to? Well, you know, I'm, I'm just sort of preparing right now to record an album again. What? That's oh, right. wow. A solo record? Or? Well, you know, let me explain it, of course. I'm going to take a CD that I own and record it onto a tape so I can play it in my V, my RV, you know. <laughs> Your <RV>? V, <laughs> RV? No, you know, I misspoke, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't mean to hold your feet to the fire. Sure. It's not allowed. Go- so you gotta you gotta convert it. You have a tape deck in the RV. Yes, yeah, it's a very old RV. Oh. So what? Uh, I, I guess I'm not aware of. Uh, I never came across this in the the shop image catalog. The CD to cassette uh, player. That's a pretty standard boombox that I've purchased. <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh, so it's not even built into the RV. It's just the boombox that's in the RV. So I'm gonna do the whole thing in my home. You know. <laughs> And then bring it out to the RV, the tape, of course. Aren't you a multi-millionaire? Why are you buying such an old RV? Well, I certainly like the vintage charm of it all, you know. That's wait, what the V stood for. Ah. A vintage RV. <laughs> but oh, yes, that's right. I didn't want to explain it. I didn't think we had time for that. Uh, well, <laughs> we certainly we did. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> all right, timekeeper. All right. We don't really. Oh, I'll get off the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, what uh, uh, did you lose all of your money when you died? It, it, I, well, I misplaced much of it, you know, because right before I died, I had, I was taking it out of the. <laughs> Wait, a lot of people don't know this. Oh yeah, you had right. bags of money when you were shot. Yeah, by, I was. Yes, I was Chapman? taking it from my mattress to a bank. Yoko finally said, "You've got to put this away. We can't get any sleep we, on this mattress." We've been doing too many photo shoots on this naked on this mattress. <laughs> <That> is, <laughs> well, it worked for shit. a while because we were there so much. We were not leaving the bed. Yeah, hubba hubba. <laughs> 
You like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Have you, uh-huh. had, have you had sex? Uh-huh. Yeah, I've been to orgies and stuff, remember? <laughs> oh, right. That's right. Well, I mean, one can be at an orgy and not actually partake. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's a you loser. Could, you could eyes wide shut it and just be a creep uh, wearing <laughs> yeah. a bird mask what's, watching everything. What's creepier, being in the orgy or just watching it? I'll let you know when I find out. <laughs> I think okay. it depends where you're watching it from. Okay. If you're inside, you're not the creep. <laughs> what if you What if you're behind a painting with eye holes cut out? You know that's that's two on the creepy rating. I would say. Have you <laughs> had an two? orgy out of two? Yeah. Have you had an orgy it's, with any it's famous out of people? Three. Me. That's a good question. Timekeeper has a question not related to time. Mm, mm. <laughs> well, one time me and Ringo, you know, we had sex with one Paul. One time, mm-hmm. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Wait, one time you and had Ringo sex had sex with Paul McCartney? With, yeah, with Paul McCartney. You know, we were deciding who should. Um, so, wait, 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 hold on a second. Was it, wait, it who was, was it, left out? Was it you and Ringo and Paul all had sex together, or you and Ringo had sex with Paul? Yes, that one, the second one. <laughs> Ringo and I, oh, here's what we did. <laughs> we stacked our dicks up on top of each other and slipped them in the oh, bowls. Sure. Sure. Well, come on now. <laughs> it's not that kind of a show. <laughs> where was Are you sure? George? A show where you don't answer tr- questions truthfully. Where is George? <laughs> Filming it? Oh, good question. You no, know, George was pulling a two on the creepy scale. <laughs> he was behind a painting. <laughs> is that where you came up with the scale? That, yeah, we looked right at it. Well, he couldn't see a thing. You know, a vase was right in front of the picture. <laughs> oh, that he was, no. That is uh, poor planning. Well, yeah, he said, you've got to move. Move the vase. <laughs> Wait, was he was it? calling out from behind the painting? Yes. <laughs> that kind of blows the, uh, the <laughs> hiding space. Like, yeah. Yeah, well, he's not the smartest, you know, creeper. <laughs> really? George is not smart at creeping. No, Speaking he's very of, smart at playing guitar. Was the painting yeah, Whistler's thing. mother? <laughs> yes, and the eye holes were right at the edge of her uh, rocking chair. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> so not with, not, not with, in the face. No, that's well, the strange was thing up about really it. Really high, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that why it's only a two on the creeper scale? <laughs> Exactly. So, uh, uh, John, what is this? What is this CD you have? What mm. are you recording? D- uh, uh, Pearl Jam's second latest album. Second latest. Second latest. Yep. Wait. So the titular Pearl Jam? No, titular no. till no, I die. I think is it? No, is it second late? Would it by Noral? No, no. No, I think it's Pearl Jam. The second to last one. Yeah, Yeah, the second to last one. I think it's called Pearl Jam. You motherfuckers! Wait, the lightning bolt is most recent. (laughs) But why would they wait to call it Pearl Jam? The one that came out most recently. Bands do that because they want to say, "Hey, we're rebranding and getting back to basics." Stop hitting me! Stop hitting! Oh, oh. it's it's backspacer. I'm recording backspacer. Oh, hold on. They waited that long in their careers to have an eponymous album. Yeah, they did. Well, they did. Then maybe that's the third most recent. Let's sing Daughter. Sure. <laughs> yes. Don't so call, call me Daughter. daughter. Hold on, hold on. I I guess guess I can. You're, you're not, not my daddy. daughter. So <laughs> not it off. Right? Well, sort of. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Lightning Bolt was uh, the most recent. Backspacer is the one you're talking Backspacer. about. Backspacer. <laughs> Pearl Jam, the titular Pearl Jam is the one right before that. Oh, mm. okay. No, that one I don't own. You don't own that? No. That's not a bad it's one. It's unfortunate. I, I suppose I could go, go over to Best Buy and pick it up, but I won't. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Are you out of money? Because or... I haven't gotten through Backspacer yet. Oh, wait. You haven't listened to it? No. How gotten far have you gotten? Through. <laughs> I've opened it. <laughs> God. May I ask a question about one of your songs? Yes. <laughs> Eight days a week. Typo, slip of the tongue. What was going on there? Is that just oh, driving time crazy? Question. We were yes. being very funny. You know, yes. Ringo, <laughs> Ringo suggested it. I said, well, I, I brought him aside and I said, are you joking around? Do you know that it's not eight days? It doesn't exist eight days a week. He said, no, John, it's a joke. What about what about that song? <laughs> what about that song? Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. That one pisses me off. Well, that's a Paul song. I'll, I'll leave that to Paul when he's in. You can talk. You to weren't him about on it. that track. You know, I'm fuzzy on what songs I Wait, wrote. Were too. you on every single Paul McCartney solo record? I was. I was at least in the room to watch him record. <laughs> like hiding behind on the, the painting. Scale? <laughs> Who was better at keeping time, Ringo or me, the timekeeper, <laughs> or Pete Best? Or be best. Oh, that poor Pete best. <laughs> or Jason uh, tell Bobby. us about him. We lost him early, didn't we? He didn't he die. Just, he just quit. You might be thinking of Stuart Sutcliffe. Yeah, yeah the basis. Yeah, I think I had this problem last time <laughs> I was did. in here. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I can't remember those bloody well, it was a long that we time keep. ago. It was back Stuart in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Do the Beatles have different drummers? 
You know what? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho. <laughs> you must be... I never paid attention. I would think you're young, not <laughs> old. <laughs> I'm a million. <laughs> Oh, that you certainly have heard of the Beatles, then. Too much time I've been on this earth. I can't listen to every song and notice who every drummer is. Hey, that's how I feel about Pearl Jam. <laughs> it seems like you would have more time to do that. Timekeeper could explain it. Mm. What's your favorite song? Time is bad. <laughs> <laughs> My Ooh, favorite song is Elton John and uh, seeing that Captain and Tennille song. <laughs> Love Elton will keep John us together. <laughs> what? If it's on, if it's on backspace, and don't go breaking me. my heart. I Elton John and RuPaul. Right. Elton John and RuPaul. Did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that your favorite song? I of, love it of all time. It's really fucking oh. good. <laughs> all right, did, did you just come? <laughs> Not quite. Uh. Oh, time, 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 time. <laughs> time out. Keep it inside. Oh. Wait a minute. I thought I'll this was that type inside. of show. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can't. Tell Tell me one thing and then talk about come two minutes later. No, you're just merely asking a question of one of the guests. Did you just come? His All penis right. was out of his shorts. <laughs> you okay, are wearing I, shorts. Yeah, yes, yes. He's wearing shorts under his cloak. <laughs> Board shorts. <laughs> are they from Old Navy? Yes. <laughs> $6.99? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, uh, we have to get to our next guest. He's wearing a white suit. He has a, a long brown uh, 70s type beard. He has little round glasses. Perfect circle one, glasses. One with, one with a, a bullet hole <laughs> in one of them. Oh, Jesus, like Battleship Potemkin. <laughs> I guess. He's, he's uh, not holding a guitar, I noticed. No guitar. Which is kind That's of unfortunate. That's a very weird way to describe people, by the way. <laughs> well, he, more often than not, people aren't holding guitars. <laughs> well, he really prom- no, he promised next time he would come in, for the past two appearances, he would come in and sing uh, some of his new songs. But so anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for standing at five foot ten, 155 pounds. The guy in the white suit with a beard. You know, the musician, you know who exactly who this is. <laughs> Yo, you gotta throw me a fucking bone. <laughs> what? <laughs> he looks so familiar, but I can't think of it. One of the most famous musicians of all time, and you don't know who he is. He's one of the Baja men? <laughs> <laughs> Who did let those dogs out, by the way? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, we're in the presence of greatness. <laughs> um, no, of course he's one of the, the uh, one of the four members of one of the greatest rock groups of all time. He you. <laughs> from the sixties. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's wearing a white suit. He has little round. What do you call those little round glasses normally? John Lennon glasses. Yeah, of course. Okay, so yeah. who do you think he is? I don't know. Is some guy who bought John Lennon glasses? I don't. So, what the fuck is <laughs> it's this? fucking John Lennon? Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hello, Scott, and hello, Gino. Hey, how's it going, Johnny? It's you going you guys have not appeared on the show together, so that's no, probably why you f- don't know. This is fun to meet you. Yeah, and I honestly, I thought you would be way older. This is exciting. Well, you know, you know what? I'm, I'm alive again. I, I did want to. Do you ask- know? Wait, hold on a second, Gino. Do you know about me? I used to play guitar for a band called the Beatles. <laughs> yes. Now that you say it, your voice <laughs> sounds familiar. And the yeah. you never, if you would have said the well, Beatles, I would have guessed. I would imagine I that it's it's very oh, weird I'm to sorry, see someone did you who's say alive. Ima- did you want me to launch into my famous song? Called Imagine? No, no. I, just because I said the word Imagine, right, I did not. Well, I, keep. Let me know if but you want me one, to. One can extrapolate. You don't have a famous song called Extrapolate, do you? Uh, no, but was I, that the first draft? <laughs> yeah, the first draft of Imagine was Extrapolate. Mm-hmm. Extrapolate. All extrapolate. The people? We called it. <laughs> but one can presume that it would, uh, you know, seem. Don't presume. You'll make a pre out of you and me. A Prius. <laughs> you'll make a Prius out of you and me. <laughs> Um, I, I can, oh gosh, how, how else can I say this? It must be anachronistic to see him assuming he is dead. And, John but Lennon. he's, yeah, but he's a, an alive person. We don't need to go back about why he's alive, but, uh, okay, back alive, by back the way, alive. I did want to ask you though, because you, you, you were on the television, the comedy bang, bang television Oh, I had a great time there. Last it was week. fun seeing all the cameras. <laughs> That's the one fun part about it. Well, there were many fun parts of it, but the funnest part was seeing a camera direct pointed at me. You used to have cameras pointed at you all the time. The help movie that's true that's he's in true. the help i'd forget i'd the forgotten one, all the, <laughs> no not the help he's not help. next to the, <laughs> the he's not next to the redhead with the big knockers <laughs> he's not next to emma stone's bombs is it emma stone in that movie yes sir i get her confused what, with what emma watson 
and okay. Emma Roberts. I can see okay. how you do that. Her, her name is similar to the other one's name. That's yeah. the big part of it, yeah. The first but part. What sure. I want to ask you about is you look, on the television show, you look just like John Lennon of old. You look like back when you were and I like, feel like the John Lennon of old. I've been exercising these days. Do you, so s- do you stop aging physically when you die? You just have to tell yourself, I don't want to age anymore, and you, I want to look good forever. Mm. So I picked that look for myself. Okay, well, yeah. you look great. Well, thank because you. Because you, you are... I feel great. You are, as we talked about it, you're, you're in your 70s? You'd have to do the math on when I exactly died and what year it is today, but sure. Well, I, I would imagine when you were born would be more helpful. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I don't mean, have I, a calculator. You know, that's I could on tell my you Christmas you're 35 list. years old if it's from your death. <laughs> I think you're like 75 at this oh, point. Oh, am I that old? Yeah, I believe so. I love you look old. great, though, Johnny. Thank but, you yeah, so you much. Yeah, lo- you look just like when you died. You, you look about 40 or what have you. And I do want to explain the bullet hole in my glasses, because, you know, I didn't get shot in the face. Oh, really? I got shot in the body, and I had my glasses in my breast pocket. Oh, yeah, I would have thought it would have stopped him? the bullet. Could, like Johnny Dangerously? I didn't get saved by him. They went right through, and I, you know, I died. Oh, Hold on a second. Cool. How could you have seen Johnny Dangerously and not Dances with Wolves? I love Joe Piscopo. Oh. Oh, okay. Does he explain? It? Yeah, he's from. Uh, well, he's he's a Jersey guy. He did a great Sinatra impression. I, that's where. That's How where do I you know, know Joe Piscopo. How do I know him? Yeah, I met him once at an after. He was party. on SNL during the years that you were dead. Oh my God! <laughs> doesn't mean eighty he, to eighty four. That doesn't mean he's still not alive. And I was able to meet him. <laughs> he stopped me on the street once and said, "Hey." Holy moly, I think I know you. You're John Lennon. I said, sure, don't tell anyone, and I can sign anything you want, and I wrote him a song. <laughs> what song did you write of Joe Piscopo? I just read Was it the him. Honeymooners rap? N- <laughs> no, I just say hey, Imagine Ralphie Boy. boy. <laughs> hey, Ralphie Boy. Um, very interesting. It's great to see you. Do you have any holiday plans? You know, what does uh, a Beatle yeah, do What does for... a dead rock legend do? <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead anymore. You know, I don't think you're understanding. <laughs> I'm alive. Okay. Or I wouldn't be here sitting in this chair. That's fair enough. So what does a formerly dead rock legend do for the holidays? Well, he tries to get together with his best friend Ringo and sing carols. <laughs> so you're trying. You try. You can't pin him down. Will you succeed, do you think, this year? I've succeeded every other Christmas. <laughs> really? Ringo's, and he's your best friend? He's always been my best friend. He's the best at what he does, drumming. And he's always kept the beat for me in my guitar playing and my singing. A lot of people may not know this, but in the Beatles... What was the trivia you were telling us? Lennon said he's Ringo's the second best drummer, right? <laughs> no, I would never say that. In no, the Beatles, there were many of us in the Beatles. I played guitar. Some people played the bass. But Ringo played the drums. He always did. <laughs> this is the trivia? I, yeah, did, I trivia. did once. I sat down in his drum kit, and he you know, quietly came up to me and leaned in my ear. He said, if I ever see you sitting down in my drum kit... I'm going to take that bass drum and stick it up your fat ass sideways. And, you know, the, I, I said, what are you talking about? Sideways? I'm pretty thin. <laughs> yeah, and not only that, but the regular way would Well, you know, when, when Ringo gets mad, he doesn't make any sense. Is that the only time he's ever been mad at you? Mm-hmm. I would count that as more <laughs> of Ringo trivia than just something you could see by looking at one performance. <laughs> oh, well, the, yeah, so you when you sing carols, do, yeah. you, do you sing... The, the Beatles Christmas mo- song, the Christmas time is here again, or do you Sure, sing- we'd need the lyrics in front of us to do well, it. Well, sure. I mean, I just said the lyrics, so go ahead and sing it. <clears throat> Say the, the title Christmas of the song. Christmas time is here again, Yeah, 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 you know, I know it. Yep. <laughs> Christmas time is here, and everybody cheer, and if, if, you don't want, if you don't get your Christmas list ready, you know, you're not going to get anything. It's one of the few songs that has a written stutter in it. It's nice. It's like, <laughs> yeah, and we always wanted to write the stutters into our Christmas songs because, you know, everyone around Christmas is so nervous about what they're going to get. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Oh, did I get the right thing for this person? Am I going to get the right thing from that other person? It really is a high-stress day, isn't it? Christmas is one of the worst days of the year. One of the, absolutely. Yeah. You know, because you never get anything good and you never give anything good. You know how it, it sucks to get have your birthday so close to Christmas? Yeah, I mean, when's your birthday? Uh, my birthday is January 31st. Oh. I'm an Aquarius, <laughs> like a fish. Okay, yeah, I get yeah. the Aquarius sign. <laughs> yeah, 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 you don't have to explain it. Yeah, it's like aqua is like the root word there. Yeah, okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, But like, you know how people- Like Aquaman. Yeah, like Aquaman. He's, oh, wait, Aquaman, that's yeah, why he was he's in the ocean. Yeah, he's born in late January, early February. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah well, like the Spanish word, aqua. <laughs> what? The Spanish word for water is agua, but I, you know, I put a Q in there to just sort of talk about what we're talking about here. <laughs> I, to, I felt lonely not saying anything for a moment. Uh, Do you feel lonely a lot? Mm, 
Most every day. I mean, no one can know you're here, but Ringo's... They can know. They just... I don't want them to tell anyone. Right, but I would imagine that... Leads... So people can know, but they are not allowed to spread it. And no one But what has if everyone finds out individually is okay? As long as they didn't hear it from someone if else. one by one, the whole world meets me and everyone knows about it, then... Are you sure it's not just so Yoko doesn't find out? Well, I, you know, I... <laughs> Look, you know why I don't want Yoko to know. Why is that again? I've got her old beret, and I think it looks nice on me. I don't want to give it back to her. <laughs> does she still live in that old place? In that old apartment? No, he does. No, I live over there. <laughs> Except when I come out here to California, I take my RV across, you know. <laughs> right, yeah. across, across the nation every time. <laughs> How long does it take you to get out of here? Mm, to drive out. If I do it straight, it usually takes me about a day, but I, I do it. <laughs> a day? I drive as fast as can be. <laughs> Is that thing, that's like a bullet train. <laughs> this Holy thing shit, is so that's fast. fast. <laughs> Jesus. You wouldn't believe how, how fast I go with this thing. Just quick math alone. That's, 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 <laughs> that's almost 3, miles. Like 300 miles an hour. 300 miles an hour. During a 24-hour <laughs> period. That's without any sleep. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I would hope not. No, what if you were sleeping for eight hours? What? What? <laughs> Do you have access to all your old money and wealth and stuff? Oh, yeah. That's how I'm able to live where I live and live how I live and eat at the restaurants I choose to eat at. Really, it's only a drive around and not work and everything. It's 125 miles assuming, an hour. Assuming absolutely no traffic, <laughs> yeah. no brakes. So it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not that, yeah. it's not that's that true, bad. That is, that's kind of fast, but if, if it's... It's pretty fast for an RV. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I should, I mean, that's if I'm driving straight. I don't usually drive straight. Really? Wait, yeah. you, take, you take the scenic route. I take scenic. It usually takes me about two or three weeks. Oh, yeah. You ever seen the Grand Canyon? <laughs> oh, yes. I always stop at the Grand Canyon because I always say it's the biggest hole in America. Okay, yeah. Next to your next to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> next to mine? God, John, what has got into that you? Was I, get a little, I get a little kooky on Christmas are you, time. Are you some, I, oh, that's a great song, by the way. Ooh, great that Beatles is a song? Good. Let me write that little, down. I get a little, a little on Christmas time. Let me borrow a pencil. <laughs> oh, no, that's a short pencil. Uh, yep, sorry. That's, that's a, all right. Yeah, that's a, I've been writing down ideas all day. Just... On, on your scenic route across America, are you mm-hmm. still going 125 miles an hour? <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you go so fast that, that you can... That would be a good idea. I'd spend more time at the spots that I like to be at. Do you go that fast so you can jump over the Grand Canyon? <laughs> Evil Knievel style? You got to build up about 10 hours of... <laughs> I've tried that once before. I was going from... <laughs> From Nebraska, and I was got speed up, you know, going from Nebraska sure, of course, yeah. to, the, to the Grand Canyon, and I got, I was right about to do it. I said, "You're going to set a record, Johnny boy." <laughs> <laughs> and I look da- down in front of me, a ranger. He's waving. He said, "You can't do that. Stop, stop, stop." And did I he s- say John Lennon? John Lennon, stop. He did, did when I got out of the car, oh, the okay. RV, sure. Yeah. Oh. And he said, "You can't jump over that thing. You'll kill somebody. I don't think you're going to make it." I said, "You, I've been going from <laughs> Nebraska. You know, you know how much speed I oh. picked up." And did he say, "Oh, I didn't know that. You would have made." It? Yeah, he said that <laughs> <laughs> almost exactly. Oh, but I'll never. God. You know, I don't fly. I hate flying. I never do it. Do you? It's you'll... a waste of fifteen thousand dollars, if you ask me. Why are you paying so much? Hmm? Are you flying Delta One or something? I have a guy. I buy tickets off a guy who I think is ripping me off. <laughs> yeah, but he drives so. me to the airport. Oh, okay, that's not such a bad deal. No, then. it's not a bad. He drives me right up and he carries my suitcase right up to the security check for me. Okay, who's this guy? Uh, I don't want to say his name. Really? Come mm-hmm. on, just tell tell us no, his name. No, I don't want to because he's got so much press already. Re- he's got a lot of press. Who is this guy? It's Come on, Bono from the band U2. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's how he stays so rich by buying, <laughs> selling me plane tickets. Oh, wait. Are you at least traveling on the Vertigo plane? No, I'm traveling Delta. Oh, they've got <laughs> they've got TVs and the headset headsets in front of you. They've got the headsets. I, I would put them on your ears if I were there. I mean, the headbed. What do you What do you in America call head, head bed, headbeds? Headbeds. Oh, I see. It's different in England, That's even right. though you've lived here for. I'm still getting. You never forget. You never <laughs> for forget. as long as planes have existed. That's rains <laughs> and drums. Oh, wait. Hey. <laughs> um, hey, that's my line. Yeah. Hey. Well, gosh, it's great. Uh, do you have any holiday plans other than that, other than singing carols? Mm. You know, I was going to go down to the Rockefeller tree and try to take some <laughs> ornaments off of it. Off of it? Yeah. Not put some on? No, because well, I like them so much, and my tree at home is so small, it can only fit a few. Oh. So Most said, of your holiday not- plans involve trying to do something. <laughs> <laughs> have a well, little confidence in yourself. You've come back to life. I think you have. <laughs> you a lot of it. the things I do are illegal or harmful to people, so I tried, <laughs> like the, the jump over the Grand Canyon, I tried it, and I got stopped. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about like take an ornament, leave an ornament, you know? Mm. Tolo? <laughs> yeah, Tolo. <laughs> take one, leave one. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll, when I get or home, Tulu. I'll craft up some. Take one ornament, leave one ornament. Tulu. I don't know what you're saying. Tulu? T O O L O. Oh, okay. That was T U L U. No, that's Hulu. Oh, okay. Where you can watch difficult people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got. I rack up a lot of miles flying back and forth for this internship, so I watch a lot of television. Oh, I understand. Do, does anyone give you presents, or do you give presents? Well, uh, Ringo and I usually exchange. Do and, you? Yep. What's the best present that, I that try you've to received from Ringo? Him? That I received from him last year. He got me uh, uh, Yankees coasters. <laughs> For my, you know, my coffee table at home. Sure, yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I'm a what Yankee fan. For? Hey, well, that's great for you. Unless you meant just coasters of American people from a British perspective. No, 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 the New York Yankees. You know, the N and the Y. Yeah. And some pinstripes behind it. Love it. It's great. It keeps my coffee cups. Are you a, are table. you a fan of the Yankees? You know, I'm a fan. Not really. I go to some games sometimes. I like. But you have a lot. I know a Rod. I'd like to see him. You have a lot of drinks though that are on that coffee table that you want to protect. I have. I usually when I go to the fridge to get a drink, I take two or three bottles. Uh, you know, soda. Yeah. Beer or something out of the You time. mentioned you know A Rod. How do you know A Rod? Oh, I, I meant to say I know of him. He's like the only oh, Yankee okay. I know. Okay. I never met him. So you know of A Rod, you go to see him. I'm not That's a, huge... a lot like anyone going to see a baseball game. They know of the players and they go to see them. I meant more like, you know, I don't know everyone on the lineup. I know the big. I dog, personally you know. know Don Mattingly. Do hey. you? Where did you meet him? Uh, I met him at McKeebs. Oh, okay. It's a bar on uh, Hempstead Turnpike oh, okay. over by Hofstra. Yeah. He was There's the- a certain amount of people out there who are listening to this right now just screaming at their their radios like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said it. I know See? where that is. I know my keeps. I get that reference. Oh, my <laughs> God. Pull their I- car off the fucking road. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Canyon. someone scream and the hat fly up in the air, <laughs> flip around and land back on it. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. It was impressive. Yeah. yeah I don't and, know how and, that happened. Yeah, I and you're wearing a top hat. I meant to mention that. It's uh, like an Ebenezer said, Scrooge kind of top hat. You said it was a holiday episode yeah you said i'm gonna be meeting some big celebs yep i was hoping it was one of the baja men <laughs> but for now i i dressed up yep it's and only the hat by the way you're still wearing uh yeah i'm uh, still wearing a rusty tank top and quicksilver <laughs> yeah. board shorts and flip-flops right. yeah <laughs> i'm cash man when i come out to la i want to i want to fucking beat it up you sure know? what do you wear in new in uh, new york though same thing same thing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> except in the winter, winter yeah in the winter I, I slap on a drug rug what is a drug rug? You know, like those. I I keep saying Baja on this show, which I, I feel weird okay. about, but it's a yeah. Baja. It's like one of those tweed hoodie things. Tweed hoodie Baja? <laughs> tweed hoodie Baja? <laughs> THB. Sounds, like sounds like a children's poem. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you sound like Doctor Seuss. <laughs> tweed hoodie Baja. Tweed hoodie Baja had a problem. His mommy. You know those like uh, like they look like ranchero hoodies. It just, <laughs> oh I my god! Any sense? Oh, these words are just like I know the words individually. We call them drug rugs growing up because they were for like hippies and scumbags and hacky sacks. Okay. Yeah. Other scumbags. Other oh, scumbags. Different kinds of scumbags. <laughs> right. Not the kind of lo- traditional Long Island scumbag. Right. A different kind of Long Island scumbag. All right. Well, guys, we have to take a break here. Oh, is that God. okay? Thank God. Just being on like this too much it, it <laughs> blasts why did you, my nerves. Why did you come to the show if you don't want to talk? <laughs> because I like seeing you, Scott. Oh, that's true. Although you did not bring your guitar. Ugh. Well, you know what? I, I, talk to Ringo then. Okay. You're the one who has to talk to Ringo. I, I talk to him all the him. time. Give me the... Can I swear on this program? Yeah, go ahead. Give me the fucking thing back, I say to him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> um, that, that's like a working class hero when you swore in that song. Uh, yeah, I know. Remember that? <laughs> that one I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> Give us back our jobs, you rich slobs. Was that the, the lyric of that <laughs> you one? You rich slobs. Which All one right. of those words is a curse? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. When Red, we come back. Cue break. Well, uh, yeah. Ready break. Okay, we're going to be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. And go to break. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here uh, in Gino. The Whenever you're ready, go, Scott. Yeah, no, I've been ready. I've been saying it. And uh, John Lennon is right here. Oh, drums. Oh, I forgot to say my catchphrase. Yes, drums. You just did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, shut me up, Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm sorry, I don't no, mean to interrupt I, you, but now I, I'm feeling sad. Why are you feeling sad, <laughs> because, John? Because you know you put me in my place like that. Okay, well, I, you uh, you literally said it three words before you said you didn't say it. All right, <laughs> all right. Well, 
Uh, it's so great to have a lot of our friends here uh, around us for the holidays, and uh, we have a. I'm going to introduce. Yes, uh, we have a, a one of our our greatest friends. We just met uh, him. He was a member of a rock combination known as the Beatles. Please welcome John Lennon. Hello, hello, Scott. How is Hi, John. How are you? Holy moly! How is everyone doing? This is very in exciting. the room. Very exciting. And how is everyone doing at home? <laughs> Okay, well, let's I, just go just to go around the room. I've, I'm doing great, so much better now. I mean, like uh, a beetle is in the room. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. I, I'm doing well. I'm frankly very. Uh, I'm starstruck. This is this is unbelievable. This is the first time you guys are meeting John. Here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Do you have any nice. questions for him? Of course, it's the first time I'm meeting John Lennon. Yeah. Do you have questions for I, John? I have one question yeah. right off the bat. Sure. Mm-hmm. And maybe you have the same question. Okay. Let, should we say it at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. One. You, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yep. One, One, two, two three. Aren't What's Yoko you and his pussy taste like? Oh, oh boy. Oh. He did not have the same question. <laughs> it's kind of the same, though. <laughs> two questions I've been asked many times before on the street. Sure. <laughs> Question you, one. You still do street questions with John Lennon, right? I do still if a lot of If you see walk. John Lennon on the street, you can ask him three questions ask and he'll him answer. Ask him anything you want. He'll take a picture with you. <laughs> do you still drive the cash cab? <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time. It's been I a did while. that after the show got canceled, you know, because I needed my, I needed a play, something to drive. <laughs> so I bought the cash cab. And they were selling but the cash cab. You had right. to constantly give away money in it, though, so that's a tough bracket. Right, because I never took the sticker off the side of it. <laughs> what sticker? 91X? The, oh. the one, the big one that said cash cab that everyone oh, right. missed when they stepped into oh, it right. on the show. No, he drives an RV, guys. I drive an RV. And I how fast do you take that thing? Oh, 150 sorry. miles an hour? As fast as I can Very take it. sorry. Well, you know, I'm still trying to get over that Grand Canyon. Oh, you're trying to drive an RV over the Grand Canyon? <laughs> yeah, I start in New York, in the Dakota. Mm-hmm. I drive out of the Dakota parking lot. He tries to get, gain enough momentum yeah. by running the stoplights. Yeah, yeah. As f- fast as far as I can go until I get to the Grand Canyon to try to leap over it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the problem has been cold feet? No, the problem is not. The problem has always been state troopers slowing me down. <laughs> oh. You oh, can't so- do that. Oh, you can't do that. You are able to run every red light in New York City. <laughs> Arizona State Troop is a fantastic. Oh, so it's not until you get to Arizona. No, wow. At that point, you must have been. You must have built up a tremendous amount of speed uh, and a tremendous, uh, you know, uh, kink in my foot. <laughs> what about what about uh, what about refilling gas? Yeah. Well, I would think you would burn through gas very well. Quick. You you put a giant uh, five hundred gallon tank of gas. The trailer, you know, the trailer I have on it because you've seen yeah. it. Oh, is a gas. Oh, tank. wait a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just say this. I don't think you're going to clear the canyon with a trailer. Well, we'll oh. never know if the uh, Arizona State Police keep. Don't up you a have good a job. button though that you press that detaches the I was trailer? Say, at the last I've never gotten that close, but yes, it's sort of like a a, a rocket that uh, like you know, rocks rid of and the button. Disengage. If I could talk about the button, absolutely, it's big, it's big and red. Welcome back to button talk. <laughs> It's, it's big, big and red. red. Yep. So I know where it is. Just like and that's me. the end of Button Talk. Yeah. Tune in next time. We're in neck when we're talking buttons. Can I just say, I, and I don't know if Jason feels the same way, but I feel like maybe he does. I'm very much uh, used to having uh, John Lennon in the room. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it effort. just takes but a moment. I've instantly. It, it's adjusted. gotten very cool. Yeah. It feels nice. <laughs> I'm very pleasant. A lot of people like to have me around. If I see people on the street and they want to talk and hang out. I'll go with them if I have the time. May I ask a question? Shul. Which? I, I also have a question. <laughs> did, did you say shul? <laughs> shul. I said shul. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's his Liverpudlian <laughs> dialect. <laughs> talk in England. Do, uh, you had many looks over the years. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which was your favorite? Well, the one I have on right now, my white suit. Yeah. You went back okay. to the white your seven, yeah. like shoeless. Your seventies look. That's right. You're yeah. as shoeless as Joe Jackson himself. <laughs> I, I decided I need to. The musician. <laughs> I need to save money. Yeah. On haircuts, so that's why I keep my hair so long. Certainly, mm-hmm. and your beard. Right. Beard but cuts are terrible. Expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Beard they're so expensive. expensive. Was, I'm spending a fortune yeah. getting my beard cut. I'm yeah. spending, you know, it'll be $13 a month <laughs> to get this thing cleaned up. Do you receive the residuals from the Beatles, or do they think you're dead? Well, you know, Ringo knows I'm alive. Yeah, oh, I know he he's so, my good right. friend. But has he told the record company, Apple? He tells people everything, but nobody really listens to him. Oh, they yeah. They come in, oh, weren't you the drummer? Which I think is great. Yeah, But no. they don't take him very seriously. Ringo's your best friend. He's my What's best Ringo friend? been up to? Yeah, basically, Ringo is the big bird to your Mr. Snuffleupagus. Yeah. That's, you know, like well, he's trying to tell everybody you're alive and a, a living thing. That's one way of putting it. It's probably the best way of putting it. Uh, but I guess we are, you know, blowing up your spot because we're saying we see you. That's so. fine. As I always say, just don't tell anyone that you've seen me. Oh. 
Really? It's fine that they know. But, just don't tell right, anybody. You know, we can take pictures and I'll write you a song, but we, I don't really want to have people know. You write people like, songs? You keep, <laughs> coming, the you keep coming back to this podcast. Right. You've been on it multiple times, yes? Yes. Okay, but you know it's recorded and then it's put out. I'm well the, aware. I download it and put it onto a disc that I then listen to in the office. Because I love hearing myself. Do you draw the out. Apple logo on that disc? Right. Like but, you put it out? Now, which Apple logo? That, right. Thank you. Yeah. Because your Apple logo is the one like the Apple sliced. Right. It's you know, that one. It's that one. Right. Okay, the green apple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I use a green pen for it. Ooh, I have a question <laughs> that I, you know, and I hope this isn't too soon for you, but um, what was it like losing George Martin this year? Oh, yeah. R. We R. haven't P. talked about that. Fifth yeah. Beatle, George Martin, super was producer. Was he the fifth Beatle, by the way? Do you uh, consider him? I, can, I always considered him the fifth Beatle. What about Pete Best? What about Stu Stuckcliffe? I considered them seven and eight. What Ryan about Epstein? Billy Preston? Six, six was your, uh, Billy S- Preston, he was, well, let me think now, he was 11. Murray the K. What about him? <laughs> he well, he's one. He was number what? one. He was number what? one. Wait, wait, wait. So with the Beatles, the K. I always assumed the number you one think, through four. Right. John Paul George and Ringo. No. So wrong. let's let's break Absolutely them down. Absolutely wrong. One is Murray. Who? One is Murray the Murray K. K. Who, okay. who I'm actually Murray forgetting the K is exactly the, who is the DJ is, that broke the Beatles in America. <laughs> of course. Right, right, right. The radio. I'll DJ. never forget I mean, him. Well, now. Of course, John Lennon knows this. We don't know what to tell. Of course, I'm telling Scott Ackerman, the host of the show. Now, would Ringo be number two? Ringo would be number two in my book. Right. But he's oh, okay, even though so, he's he's the third drummer. <laughs> That's right. So is there is there an accepted ranking or everyone has their own rankings? Everyone's of, got their own ranking and nothing's official. So which which one are you saying? Your your ranking? Well, which one do you want to hear? Your ranking. I can't speak for Paul. <laughs> the one whatever Murray whoever Murray. his name is. Murray, Murray the K. K. The wow. K? Murray the K. I don't even what does that stand for? Uh, who knows? The king. He was the, the king. king. Oh, okay. The so, king. So the in the ranking that he got him in one. a lot of trouble with Elvis. Really? Right. Oh, I bet. Elvis came over and he took his microphone and he threw it out of the window. Took whose microphone? He took his own microphone. <laughs> and he threw it out and the window? And he said, I don't need this. I'm taking yours. <laughs> that's a punishment on oh, him. That, that is a, that is horrible. That's a power move, though. Yeah. He brought his own microphone to the studio, threw, <laughs> threw it, out it out the, out window, the window, and then took Murray the K's microphone. <laughs> right. Wow. Wow. It's complicated. Wow. He was always very complicated with his punishments. He's a complicated guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you like Elvis? I loved him. Yeah. Yeah, he taught like, me to dance. Did he? Right. Let's see a little. Uh, Okay. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Not bad. You I just weird it. because Elvis that was, was mostly moonwalk. known for his lower body dancing, yeah. and all of that was upper body. He yeah. Yeah. Me, well, it was like a the... reverse river dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've lower body very a, still. A lot of shoulders. Lots yeah. of shoulders. <laughs> Yeah. And I apologize for the shoes on my feet. But no, don't it you makes sense to now. It no makes need sense. to apologize. Now, now it, it makes sense. sense. You probably thought I was a kook. I did. Honestly, I oh. thought for a moment that you might just be like a lunatic who'd wandered in here. No, I'm not. Shoes on his hands, but Good now news. I see you just doing dance moves. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The only way I know how, really. Is that why you're shoeless in for that particular look with your white suit? Yep. For the dancing. Wow. Right, because I was, I'll, you know, walk across with my shoes in my hand. They said, you can't do that. Well, mm-hmm. I said, well, I'm certainly not putting them on my feet mm. where you would expect. You know that Abbey Road cover, you know, where you're walking uh, across the street? Now, yes. Paul's shoeless on that. Right. That's meant to indicate that he's dead. Mm-hmm. It's one of the one, one of the, of the many symbols. Signs. Was Paul dead? Like he, he was dead that afternoon. He was, and That's he came right. back to life just like you did. Is right. that where you f- first learned that people could do that? That's when I got the idea. Mm. I said, if I ever die, which I never thought I would. Yeah, I did. You did, yeah. You John did. John Hinckley uh, saw to that, right? Uh, right, quick. Yeah. In, what do in, you think about that guy? Oh, you know, everyone. It's, it's I can't blame him for being a bad aim. <laughs> Wait, who was he? Who was he? He was aiming for Yoko. I think he was at a target practice. <laughs> That's what I always thought. I never outside oh, no. your hotel. No, no, he was coming for you. For me, yeah, it was yeah. Pretty well, I never me, did. I it? never met him. So you I know could... what was really interesting is James Taylor on Howard Stern this year said that he saw H- Hinkley outside the Dakota like two days prior. Really? Like, and Hinkley said something to him or something like that. There was like, he was like around. What did he say? Like, hey, I'm going to kill John Lennon yeah, in two days? in two days. Be here or be square. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if, if I was to kill, if so, let's say someone wanted to shoot John Lennon. What's a good time to be here? <laughs> and James Taylor was like, oh, probably eight o'clock, man. <laughs> Great, James Taylor. <laughs> oh, phone's ringing. Oh, Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey there. Hey, is this Tom again? Did you just do a James Taylor impression? I sort of did. Yeah, hippie James Taylor. Yeah, not good. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, are uh, you rich? 
I'm rich. <laughs> ah, that's a way to get him wow. off the phone. <laughs> he, he loves to say oh, it. He does. Still wow. just waiting for little Gary to make an appearance. <laughs> hey, well, uh, John. Keep forgetting to ask. John, I have a question. Sure. Do you watch TV at all? And when I can, you know, if, if it's at a hotel room, I'm saying it. Okay, that's the only time because you don't have one on the RV. No. So, so are you in hotels a lot? Uh, if the RV's broken down. Sure. I'll have to. Well, usually when it all kind of comes to shit right before I go into the. Uh, try to jump over the Grand Canyon. The brakes usually go. Oh, hold on a second. Don't you still live at the Dakota? I thought you said you still lived at the Dakota. I live at the Dakota. You don't have a TV there? No. So you, the only way you see a TV is if the RV breaks down. <laughs> and, you're, and you, you have, have to, to stay to at some hotel. I cross the country, you know, three times a month. Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> Trying to why, do this. Why is that, by the way, just so you can jump the Grand Canyon? Well, sometimes I'm coming out to see you. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I'm just taking a drive that, yeah, you, you popped in the right podcast or album, you can drive all day. Oh, yeah, are you a big podcast fan? Just this one. Oh, The ones that I'm... Yep. Yep. Right, yeah. Got it. And are you ever visiting Ringo? Is that why you do some of these trips? He's always so busy and he can never do anything. Now, what's Ringo doing? He's, oh, I'm so still mad at him. Yeah, he has your guitar. That's Yes, he's got my guitar and I want it back because I want to make that country album. Yeah, the Whistling Pete album. That's right. I was hoping the fact that you're here, you could debut some of the new Whistling nope, Pete songs. not going to happen. Okay, well, you, you mentioned that you write songs for people on the street. Not going right. to happen. But I will say this. Yeah. I came up with an idea that I don't need the guitar if I do a rap. Oh, well, hey, let's start the, uh, this is the free, is it a freestyle or? I don't, uh, you know, I haven't thought of it yet. Okay, but, here we oh, go. So, just, then, so then, yes. The okay, idea. Here we go. If you haven't thought of it yet, I would <laughs> the say. The very definition of a freestyle. freestyle. Here yep. we go. Oh, you know, hey, I'm John Lennon. How do you do? I just bought a brand new tennis shoe. Uh-oh. <laughs> if you like tennis, you know where to find me. On where? the court. Blimey. Blimey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't help him. No, I need help. You know, rap is very foreign to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you... That was about two rhymes. That's pretty good for your first time. Yeah, we had th- yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I don't. Th- I I think that might be the first rap track where the rapper says rap is foreign to me. <laughs> yeah, they don't like to admit most rap I've haven't heard. They're I'm, usually pretty boastful about how good they are. At right, it. you don't have many people being that modest and saying I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but the any of any rappers the, really uh, know what they're the doing. The honesty of it is really I, refreshing. I, I, I think a lot of people will like that. Yeah. Actually, absolutely. I think songs in general should start with that. Yeah, that's you know, just like, very like, foreign to me. I, I don't know what. I'm I'm doing here, but I'm going to give it my best. Unless you're uh, a I've classical pianist, that's it. Yeah, or movies. When Ooh. people acting in movies should like they should every movie should start with all the actors looking at the audience into the camera and going, you know what? We don't know what we're doing. We don't know how it's going to come out, but you know, yeah. here we go. We're you know what try. I'll say? I'll wake up in the morning right before I step out of bed. I'll say, I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm. And start my day. But what? do you really not know what you're doing there? Like, do you often wake up someplace? I mean, on earth, you know. You're like, where am I? What what yeah. has happened? How have I come to this? Sometimes, like, you know, until I put states? my glasses on, I don't know where I am. Oh, yeah. wow. Right. What do you really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Until you put your glasses on, you don't know where you but, are. But I mean, oftentimes it's the RV, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Do you know it's? Do you not know it's the RV? I because well, you know, I. Are you such saying vivid outside dreams. the RV? You're not sure like what state you're in or whatever. Sure, just any time because I'm such a sleepwalker, you know. So. Oh no, oh, we didn't oh, know. No, You've we never didn't brought know. this no, up. I never brought that, that is up. New information. Well, you know, yes, I'm a sleepwalker. I'll get up in a pair of tennis shoes and just walk around anywhere. Now, and I usually end up back in my bed. Wait, so you're putting on the tennis shoes to go to bed because you don't wear shoes in your look right now? Because you sleepwalk, yeah. you must be so putting you, on tennis so you shoes. Put them on in my you sleep. Own, yeah. Oh, you put them on when you sleep. Oh. You don't put them on to go to sleep. No, no, I, you I don't I find, like change I find into pajamas and tennis shoes. Oh, just the pajamas. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. And how far, oh, have, you, how far have you Good. walked? We all got it. We're all <laughs> we're on the same track. We should be on you know John what? Lennon. John Lennon, that checks out. Okay, good. How, what's the furthest you've walked? In uh, sleeping? Sleep? Yeah. Sure. I did, I or, did a, I'll, I'll take both. I did a half of a 5K once. So two and a half Ks. Ks? That's right. Yeah. And how, long, how many miles is that for those of us in the States? You'd have to do the math, but you know, I was... I'm right. asking you to. No. Right. Let's do, do the math. 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 That's a one and a half... One and a half miles? Uh, one point. No, hold on. I'm doing the math. It's one uh, point uh, seven eight. One point seven eight miles is a two and a half k. That's right. Okay, so one point seven eight miles. So you've walked almost two miles in your sleep. That's right. Well, and it was an official five k, and right. you only completed half of it. Yeah, I went to a water station. They splashed the water on me, and I woke up. 
A water station. But up until then, you oh. were just fast asleep. Fast asleep. Well, walking, but yes. Yeah. Wow. This is like something out of uh, The Walk by oh, wait, where did you uh, Stephen start? King's... How, I'm sorry. Gnome how, de Plume. How... <laughs> How close Richard was Bachman. this two and a half K happening to where you were sleeping? The Dakota. The Dakota. And and so it was like in front of the Dakota? It was outside my doll, you know. So it was in Central Park. Park. So right, you, right. I, I, right. presume, we just the street I presume you don't live on the first floor of the Dakota. You presume correct. So you got up mm-hmm. in your sleep. That's right. In your sleep. You put on tennis shoes. Mm-hmm. Took the elevator. Right. Right. Yep. Out the front door. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's a, a 5K that's happening. That's happening uh, in Central Park, I would imagine, right next door. Yeah, right. Right. Days at it. Right. And presumably you sleep at night. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Is, great does, question. does this go right through that, Strawberry Fields, by the way? It, it, interesting. In Central Park? Is that an upsetting place for you to visit? <laughs> so many No, questions. it's great because I, people play my songs and I'm signing things and people love it. <laughs> Is it fun to hear other people do their versions of your song? I think it's, I think it's great. Yeah, what did All you think time? about Candy Flip's version of Strawberry Fields Ooh, Forever? Ooh, good question. Ooh. You have to remind me who Candy Flip is. <laughs> you were, Don't uh, have to remind me. Not popular in the late 80s. <laughs> oh, yes, now I remember them. I love that version of it. So you It's walk- always fun to hear people do things that you've done. Where did you wake up? <laughs> did you wake up, like, on the other side of the... Did you Did you wake up in, like, uh, Bethsaida Fountain or something? No, it was at the water station. Oh, but I mean, where in Central Park? Oh, yeah, at, at the fountain you mentioned. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bethesda right. Fountain? Is that how you pronounce it? I Bethesda? Don't know. Bethesda, sorry. What is going on? I don't know. I've never. I'm re- Bethesda? I don't, I'm right, reading this right, for the first time. Right oh, near boy. Yosemite Park? <laughs> Yosemite. <laughs> I'm not a New Yorker, Jason. <laughs> oh, no. But have you heard of Maryland? <laughs> No. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, this boy. is unusual. <laughs> the land of Mary. John that sounds Leonard, made you, up. Have you heard of Maryland? Sure, I have. I, you know, I have a map in the RV. <laughs> Shut up. Here's why I asked you before um, uh, if you sleep at night. Right. <laughs> because I was wondering if this 5K was happening in the middle of the it was night. A, it was a night 5K. It was a night race. It was a, no, I was napping in the afternoon. Night okay. race. You were napping in the afternoon. Even an afternoon 5K is unusual. So, yeah, I get what you're saying. So, but you. But Running you, in a night race. Do, do, do. Running in a night race. Hey oh, hey, Tom. Oh, Tom, Sorry. quick. Is little Gary there? <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. This is just- Worth it. We're paying this license. This is- We're paying this license. <laughs> oh. Running in a night race. <laughs> Close one. That was a close one. We almost, we we almost, almost had, had to pay, pay for it. it. Yeah. Oh, so boy. close. Got it off under 17, though. But anyway, everyone waited for you <laughs> to sleepwalk through half of this 5K mm-hmm. because you said you finished it, right? No, no. I no, was didn't halfway finish. through the... No, and then you wandered oh, wait, over to you, a water station. You slept walked through half of it. Did you complete the other half since you had already done half no, of I it? No, I went home. I wasn't registered, and I didn't... Uh, you know, I don't want to... You may as well have completed it because if you walked 1.78 miles back... That's a 5K. All right. Well, I didn't do the you 5K have, course. You could Is have that, completed the 5K and then taken a cab back if you're going to walk that that's far true, anyway. I, that's true. You get dumb that's, shit. I wish you wouldn't call me that. Wow. <laughs> Did you walk You know, back? that really affects my self-esteem when you call me something <laughs> like that. You're a beetle. It's you mean, should have the not, highest not self-esteem. Anymore. Oh, that's true. You were a beetle. Uh, guys, we have to take a break. Oh. When we come back, I'm sorry. When we come back, we're going to have more, more Jason, more oh. PFT, and we will have Jason, more John Lennon. Oh, is it bedtime? <laughs> we'll be right but back. But I want to stay up we'll, for the rest of the show. I know. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with Jason Manzukas. Hey, hey Nong Manzukas. Hey, and of course, man. Paul Hey Nong F. Tompkins. Uh, hey Nong, man. And uh, John Lennon. Drums. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, uh, we have to get to our next guest, we and uh, sorry, I'm so I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm late. What John Lennon? <laughs> no. so, I had a knot in my you know scarf. I had to take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it, you had to put it in or take it off? I had to take it out. I, I, you know, I double knotted my scarf. I couldn't get it done. Oh. So I was in the bathroom in the mirror trying to take it. That's why I'm late. You look incredibly stylish, though. Thank you very much. I, I know now it's doing... just going over one shoulder in the front, one in the back. That I is... saw you in the bathroom. I thought you were doing uh, autoerotic asphyxiation. No, I know. I saw I, when I said hello, Gino. You sort of froze up. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry. Hey, finish off. You do said you I don't do. want to be any part of that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be I witness would love to you that. to be part of helping me get out of this. Thing. What's great about, by the way, John Lennon here from the the rock group uh the european rock 
group, the, right? The European the, rock group. Uh, the why do we we well we mostly went by the Beatles, <laughs> right? You, I mean, for pretty much ninety nine point nine percent. If you of look the time, for any of our records, it'll say the Beatles. It'll say the, the Beatles. But uh, but also like that's one of John Lennon's many credits. Another credit of John Lennon's might be from the grave. Yeah, that's true because well, he's back to did. life now. You yeah. never, did you ever get into the grave? I don't know that we've ever. I talked got into about it. Sure, I was in there for four years. Okay, yeah. so you actually were lying there, right? It, uh, uh, sort of sleeping, you know. And if I remember correctly, you were just like, I don't want to do this anymore, right? Yeah, it's did so you, boring. Did yeah. you do one of those things where like you punched your fist through the earth? And, I like, punched into the casket, you know, but you can't break through those very easily. So I spent, you know, kind of a day, sort of a kill bill situation. <laughs> right, just, right, right. How uh, many how many days does that take? That take to kick yourself out of the yeah out of a grave <laughs> out of my grave. It took me it took me about a week <laughs> out of someone else's grave. How long did it take you? <laughs> hey, have you how many times have you kicked your way out of a grave? Yeah, how, this how week, long does it take to the, kick your way into a grave? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great question. question. That's easy if you've got a shovel. Oh, well, then it's no longer kicking. <laughs> that's an old grave diggers, uh, you know, grave, joke. <laughs> an old <laughs> grave diggers trick. Yeah, use, use a, shovel. a shovel. Use a shovel to get into the earth. The shovel verb is in the title of their job. <laughs> One true. should bury people with a shovel, don't you think? Just in case they come back to life? Or a trowel, at least. Yeah, ex- yeah. at least. I think you know? people are doing that now. You put a flashlight and a, a sandwich and a shovel in there with them. And like a burner phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's uh, cricket wireless, so you can't get a signal in the fucking <laughs> graveyard. Well, John, uh, happy holidays to you. And to you. you. It's uh, so great to see you. Merry Christmas, John Lennon. Well, I mean, you're the person who uh, came out with that wonderful Christmas song, Happy Christmas, War is Over. Oh, I love singing that around the holidays. It's one of my favorites. It's the only song I know on piano. Is it really? Of really? course. Oh, but, you so know, I, amazing. So amazing. Uh, what, 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 this season, what kind of feelings does it bring up for you, John? Uh, but that song? The, well, sure. The song <laughs> or the season. The, so, the song and the season bring me a, a, a feeling of, you know, joy and, and trying to better my better man. Better it, man. Other man. Other brother man. man. <laughs> brother man? You got a better, now, the do bu- you, can't find a better, better man? Bre- be- yeah, is the Pearl Jam song Better Man part of your repertoire as well? I'm try- I'm asking those guys if I can use it. Because, you know, I want to tour again just with that song. Are you really going on tour? Oh, with only that song. Well, I got to build up. I'm going to do Add a Song a Night. Oh, okay. So the first stop of the tour is a very short <laughs> Very, very boring. And it's just <laughs> Better Man by Pearl Jam. It's boring if you hate that song. <laughs> sure. What city are you going to start off with? Minneapolis. Now? Minneapolis, just to give them the word show. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck him. John Lennon back from the grave, live in concert, one song, not his. <laughs> so by the time you reach your 20th city, this is going to be quite a cooking show. This could be, it's going to be too much for me. A little like Top Chef. I was going to say, is it also cooking? <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you going to actually have cooking, like quick fire challenges? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> do you cook around uh, your apartment over there across the street? Sure, from- I do. I do. I, you know, I'll cook up popcorn all the time. You kept the place. You cook popcorn, <laughs> right? I don't. Oh, yeah. I'm one of these, you know, this rare breed who cooks the popcorn on the stove. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> we go. We're dying out. Still don't that know. That is the I don't rarest know if that's thing exactly about cooking. You. But you're right. You're using a stove, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Your apartment is where? It's across the street from Central Park. That's right. It's Dakota. And can I ask you? Is that across the other street from Central Perk? Where was Central Perk around there? Well, you know when that show came out, Friends. Sure. I said, this looks like a great spot to have a coffee. So I, I'd watch the show and I'd run out and see if I could get clues from the show and run out and see if I could you find it. You thought that it was a live broadcast, so you were trying to go find them? I never knew how TV worked. I still really don't. Screaming, where's Gunther? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, you should have seen people. The fa- their faces would go white. Well, I think it's because you're John Lennon and you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming also, about Gunther. Also, a lot of people <laughs> technically are seeing a ghost. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. Do you consider yourself to be a ghost? No, I consider myself to be a live human being who okay. came back to life. Sure. So no ghostly spirits within you. Did you Did you see anything when you were dead? Did you go up to heaven? Did you? Yeah, did, I, I went up. You went up there? For a little bit. So for four years? Or does time move differently there? It moves a little differently, but to describe it to you would take me so long. Okay, well, why don't you use heaven time? And- I would need one heaven year to describe it. <laughs> okay, how long is, is that here? Eight. <laughs> that, that's, so it's eight, dog- eight seconds? So it's like yes. dog years? Wait, oh, it's eight seconds. Dog, well, they have, do have one heaven One year dog in heaven is eight heaven. seconds here? So <laughs> why didn't they call that Luke Perry film one heaven year? <laughs> because nobody would understand it. 
<laughs> so is that really complicated? That game I used to play when I fingered uh, Trisha Weber in the closet. Real, seven real name? Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> oh, real name. Uh, seven minutes in heaven. Fair to Trisha. <laughs> well, there was a lot of things that were unfair to Trisha, including being fingered by me. <laughs> but the thing is, so if it's seven minutes in heaven, yeah. am I really only in there for fifty-six seconds? <laughs> That's what's confusing. That's very confusing. Can I smell your fingers, by the way? <laughs> oh, I haven't watched them since fucking third grade, brother. Mm, my brother? God. Brother. Yeah, I've been saying brother a lot because uh, there's like this Jamaican dude who lives across the street from my oh, house. Oh, respect uh, my neck. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> oh, no. Derid him. <laughs> John John. <laughs> he sounds no, just like that. That's no, so thank interesting. You. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's uh, a wonderful time of year. Jason, do you have any plans this time of year? I mean, me, you and uh, John Lennon not to get together during we the should, holidays. You know right? what we should do is we should go uh, Christmas caroling together. That would be great. <laughs> you know, walk around a neighborhood, you know, just like Count sing the... Uh-oh. Wait, who's this? <laughs> Hello. Who, who is you? that? Count me in. <laughs> Very handsome. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Wait, uh, hello, sir. Can you step into the light? I <laughs> yes, can't quite from, tell who you are. From the shadows. <laughs> oh, he's got a headset mic on. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> well, this is the Howard Jones, a.k.a. Michael Jackson. No, no, Janet Jackson, a.k.a. Uh, Justin Spears. Bieber. Depending on what generation you, you skip, are. You skip Britney Spears. <laughs> oh, sorry, Britney Spears. <laughs> depending on how the, old you the are. The link between Janet Jackson and Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> who are you, sir? I still can't tell who you are. Well, Scott, we've met many times before. Sure, but I can't see you, and I can't tell by your voice. Oh, and you're wearing big sunglasses and a floppy brimmed hat. <laughs> Forgive me, it's me, Al A. Peterson, the smooth, the smooth criminal. criminal. Oh, oh Al A. Peterson. Have you guys met uh, Al? I, I have not. Yeah, not met. This yeah. is Jason Manzukis. You may know from the League and uh, the please, Dictator. Please don't be. I'm going to remove my big floppy hat and sunglasses. Okay. Please don't be alarmed by my appearance. It's almost like you were faking your death with that hat. Well. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> sure, I know that. As you can see, I am completely hairless. Whoa. Oh, wow. wow. Like you don't it. need to show us everything. Like the alien on Fringe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put some of that back. A fashion icon for me, personally. Uh, this is, of course, intern Gino over here, Gino Lombardo. This is I've Al never a. met Peterson. Smooth Criminal. I've seen the song, I've seen the lean, but I've never seen Yeah, do the you person. do the lean from the video as well? What video? Uh, the Michael Jackson video. You know Michael Jackson, Janet's I mean, I know who brother. Michael Jackson is or sure. was. He had a song called Smooth Criminal. Did he really? He did Alien Ant Farm, famously covered it. It wasn't the other way around. <laughs> AA that's that's like, covered a Michael I, Jackson song? I genuinely feel like that's another band you are like going to try and convince nope. me is good. <laughs> nope. I like that one song. Maybe movies. Ah, see? All right. Um, well, I'm called the Smooth Criminal, of course, because of course. I'm completely hairless and... <laughs> I'm wanted by the law. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. Hence the disguise. So you've never heard the song before? I've never heard the song, but it sounds like it's right up my alley. Okay, what about Dirty Diana? You ever hear that? Love it. <laughs> okay, it's the same <laughs> album, I believe. Oh, I guess I didn't listen all the way through. <laughs> okay, well, you turned it I off? I skipped around. <laughs> okay, okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Will, shuffle will fuck you that way. You miss a big, you know, you miss a big single yeah, that way. But speaking well, I, of- What I would do was I, I, had, I had it on vinyl, and I would just do a random <laughs> needle drop, just see where the, where the album took In me. the middle of songs or after when songs were finished? I have an uncanny ability to get it right on the track. <laughs> wow. Uh, speaking of right on the track, this is John Lennon, uh, L.A. Peterson. Hello. Uh, like the singer John Lennon? Oh, this, well, I, I was a guitar player In the, who sang. Wait a minute. From the European rock band, The Beatles? That's right. Oh, you've probably heard some of my work. Now, hold on a second. I feel like you're working my side of the street. Did you fake your own death, sir? <laughs> no, no, no. We went over this just a moment ago. I was, <laughs> I was dead. No need you... to catch me up. But in, just in case somebody I'll has... I'll intuit it. Just in case clues. a listener has just dropped the needle at this point <laughs> in the podcast, we will re- repeat John Lennon's history. We should Shout do that throughout all. the show. Everyone repeat what they <laughs> was just doing. <laughs> Anytime for someone new who, comes in, let's back up. Let's keep yeah, on let's track. back up yeah, to the beginning. Just for those Even if they might, have vital information they're yeah. trying to get out, let's make sure that we catch everyone yep. up. And let's scream at them so, <laughs> you know, all at once. And this is for our listeners <laughs> who are listening to the podcast on vinyl. <laughs> but, That's you know, right. I do have to say, this begs the question, some may say even raises the question. Mm. Some the, should say I that. think we should probably just use braises. <laughs> braises, yes. <laughs> finally. Now, this, this red wine braises the question. It's like, it's the like question. brunch and broasting. <laughs> this broasts the question. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when broasting came out in like the early 80s? Everyone was so excited. Broasted well, chicken. It's an ancient cooking art form. Sure, but I mean, it, it was popular, repopularized, one might say, back in the 1980s. I think because of the show Moonlighting. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> there were a lot of broasting going on in Moonlighting. 
<laughs> Will they, won't they? Why do they keep roasting? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moonlighting or uh, uh, depending on what generation you are, it would be. <laughs> um, uh, no, 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 Moonlighting is the relevant reference, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> or are you going to bring us down the Moonlighting hierarchy? Of <laughs> yeah, like I was the, trying to think what the Moonlighting ancestors, yeah. hierarchy actually is. Uh, cheers. Moonlighting to cheers to... Uh, girls, uh, girls, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're, lighting, we're doing what we did with Bieber from Bieber to. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I was even lost then. I, um, I got very lost. But this does uh, roast the question: <laughs> right. Do people think that you faked your death? Because We've I'm, never talked about. I'm that. certainly thinking that. I mostly, you know, some people ask me that, and mm-hmm. I'll say, "How dare you?" <laughs> okay, do you, you think po- I would trick the American public or or the European public? <laughs> and. <laughs> You know, I'll I'll say fuck you to that person. What? Right. Wow. And just like CeeLo? I'll shove, shove them. them. I'll shove them onto the ground and I'll walk away. What about the African public? Well, them too. Asian public? Mm hmm. Australian? They're uh, very Yeah, private. I think they're a little behind on the Antarctic news, public? That's right. <laughs> the world public. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, could have saved yourself some time. No, yeah. I, I would never fake my death. You would never do it. Never. But why, why'd you fake yours? To get out of a long-term relationship. Oh, smart. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Who was this? Or was her name Dirty Diana? I can't her remember. Her name was what. not Dirty Diana. <laughs> were, were you, That's your for guess. a moment, were you under the impression her name was Dirty Diana? I thought it might be. I hoped it might be in her order to of, really have cohesion. Her name, of course, was Carlifer. Oh, Carlifer. That's right. clumsy portmanteau <laughs> of her father and mother's names. And I remember... <laughs> This is my favorite part of the story. (laughs) You told her father that. (laughs) I I told it to his face. He respected me for it. (laughs) Right. You'd had a few drinks. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no. Her mother had had several drinks. (laughs) Right. Her mother, Jennifer, is a... Terrible drunk. Terrible drunk. Yeah. Right. So you you were stone cold sober. Vermouth. I was stone cold sober. <laughs> vermouth is a bad bad hangover. It takes by a the way. Lot. It's a terrible hangover. <laughs> yeah. So now you 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 were stone cold sober, and her father. How do you describe her father? <laughs> well, he was a sniveling. Oh he's a sniveling worm. He's a spineless weakling. <laughs> Now, I, lo- I have told this story literally every time every we've time. met. And I love it. I was at dinner at my girlfriend's parents' house. and uh, Was she there too? Yes, she was there too. <laughs> so it was a foreign. Yeah, she'd invited when, me. When, and when is this? Like, when, this was how, deep into the relationship. Okay. Way, as yeah, I we'd recall. Been, we'd been dating since college, and we'd been together for quite some time. And uh, this was um, this is probably not long before I decided to fake my own death to get out of the relationship. I got cold feet. <laughs> And uh, we were at dinner at her parents' house, her mother, Jennifer, in the kitchen, uh, <laughs> pretending to work on a roast, but secretly drinking her third bottle of vermouth. <laughs> <laughs> Carlifer was, uh, was upstairs in the bedroom making herself presentable for dinner. <laughs> so it, was how, just that, me. it takes a while because third bottle of vermouth... No, well, that's it depends, the mother. How, depends how quickly you drink. That's true. I mean, she may have started quite late into the. Uh, if she takes a while to get ready, that could be why you thought her name was Dirty Diana because she's got to clean it all off. That's and true. All that that's jazz. a good point. Yeah. yeah. All dirty, that jazz. It could have been Roy. In the song, was Dirty Diana literally covered in dirt? I believe, right? She had like bugs buzzing around there, like a Peanuts cartoon. What? Like oh, a, this like is pig, a real song. Pen? Wait, 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 wait! Like a Peanuts cartoon? You think that the actual cartoons have flies buzzing around them? <laughs> yeah, you know when you watch TV and then that one character comes out and the flies are attracted to it, like. Sure. Ring? Yeah. Sure, I but I, th- I thought you meant when you opened the Sunday paper that flies came out and were buzzing around the <laughs> uh, actual cartoon. Yeah, that's also. You think, the ca- you think the Peanuts cartoon is giving off flies? Some sort of stench. Uh, I do odor. only read the newspaper from the bottom of my dad's birdcage, so <laughs> right. that could be the reason why there's flies. There's also bird shit on far side. <laughs> Which works. Lo- it works right for most of the How cartoons. How old are these newspapers? <laughs> these are. I mean, who has modern newspapers? It's all iPads now. That's true. <laughs> you get an iPad on the it's front step every morning. <laughs> so Carlifer was uh, t- was getting ready, and That's what right. happened? And I was in the living room with her father, Carl. Mm-hmm. And I asked him the origin of Carlifer's name, and he sure. told me. And I was shaking his head. Right. I looked him straight in the eye, and I said, <laughs> I find that to be a clumsy poor bad toe. <laughs> And he thanked me. <laughs> he thanked you. Wow. And what's odd to me was that this is pretty deep into the relationship, as I recall, in our yes. previous conversation. And That's this right. is the first time you ever thought to ask about the origins of her name. I'd ask Carla for, of course, but I wanted to hear from the horse's did mouth. She, did she have <laughs> okay. a nickname? 
Carlifer is clumsy. She I is, agree. Now, we've talked about this before. Okay. She insisted on being called Carlifer every single time. <laughs> I hate Out that Out of respect shit. for her parents. She hated her own name, but she loved her parents so much. She respected her parents. Even yeah. if you were to say, hey, baby, or hey, honey. Nope. No pet names with Carlifer. <laughs> no pet names. I hate people who don't go for bust. nicknames, like Davids and, and Jonathans. Mm-hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. like a fuck. You got to shorten. You got to be called Dave every once in a while. You have to in this economy. Yeah. What's this? Gino short for? Ginovanni. <laughs> Ginovanni. <laughs> they shortened it at- uh, Like the famous opera, Don Ginovanni. Yes. <laughs> they shortened my name at Ellis Island when I went there for a field trip. <laughs> is John Lennon short for Jonathan? I i don't know that we've ever discussed this. It is. It. It's uh, John- <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I had to yell that. I feel like you're on your third bottle of vermouth. What is happening? I'm on my third bottle of the year, that's for sure. Well, you're an older man. You're getting perhaps a bit hard of hearing, so you don't realize how loud you're on. That's right. You're 70-some-odd years old and wearing a a scarf. A a very tightly uh, tightly knotted scarf. (laughs) Is it too loud again? Maybe I'll turn up my headphones. I may may turn myself up too loud so I can hear my own voice. It doesn't have to do with your headphone levels, guys. (laughs) No, because I can't hear myself. Let's all jack up these headphone levels. (laughs) It has to do with... His let's actual that be shouting because into I the can't mind. hear it, so I'm let's, yelling so I can hear it. Let's have episodes. that be a part of this. Just keep increasing the levels until we're all screaming. Are we supposed to have headphones on? <laughs> That's is that how you check the levels? They That's don't have how, to be on Gino, your head. Gino, this has been years. You've been working for me. You've Gino, never been wearing headphones. I've just been eyeballing it. Uh, eyeballing it from what? <laughs> From you know, just looking at how close you are to the mic, how loud your voice is, uh, if Brett is wincing or not. I kind of <laughs> you've fig- just been looking at Engineer Brett's whinging. I've been locked into Brett's alt right haircut for the last like <laughs> half, half hour. It's, it's not alt right. We can't call it alt right. All right. Call it white supremacy. <laughs> All right, Brett is a white supremacist. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> okay, uh, we need to take a break. When we come back, uh, some people may stick around, some people may leave. Gino, you better be here the entire time. That's oh, all I'm I have sticking to say. around. I've got literally nothing to do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> all right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have more comedy bang bang after this. <laughs> comedy bang bang. We are back here with, uh, of course, we have Gino Lombardo on the uh, boards. Cut, cut commercial. Initiate. Act four sequence. <laughs> Do you have vo- voice commands on this? <laughs> it's like a robot. Yeah, are you some sort of cyborg? It just sequence. helps me. I know it's supposed. It's an audio medium, but it just helps me to talk through what I'm doing over oh, here. I see. Okay, and then it's turn like you're on giving yourself like a, a little uh, pep talk. Yeah. Uh, Cake Boss is obviously here, and uh, Regina Cram. We've got loves. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we have Bone Queef. Bone Queef. Bone like crazy bone and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> like crazy bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You could have oh, just said like Bone you, Thugs and Harmony. I feel like you got four more. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your name, sir? Uh, Chucky. Chucky Spliff. We also have Chief is here. Chief, you have nothing to say when Chief. I introduce you? I do have everything to say. <laughs> Greetings, Gumshoe, from the Isle of Capri Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi. <laughs> uh, our eighth anniversary show... <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, of course, been going on eight years now, and uh, but we do need to get on to our uh, the next part of our family. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. He, he's he's been on the show for a, a few years now, and obviously family. with the eighth anniversary show, uh, it's important to have old friends back. And uh, he uh, he's um, uh, he's around as old as you, Bone Queef. sixty seven, somewhere in there. Mm, uh, that's a bad motherfucking age. Uh, although I, I think his age kind of is hard to ascertain because of the five years or six years, I can't remember, that he fall. was passed away. Four years? It was only four. <laughs> you, you woke up, back up in 1984, was it? I wasn't really waking up as so much as just getting out of being dead. <laughs> right, yes. John Lennon is back. Hello, Hello, John. I missed the name Bone Queef. Yes, that's right. It's Bone Queef. Bone like, ooh, I elbowed a motherfucker in the face and my uh, funny bone is tingling and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> queef like a pussy fart. That's that one I got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I have a question. It's me, Chucky Spliff. Are you a taco? <laughs> Am I a taco? I, I, you know, I don't need to answer that. Hey, answer I, the I've, question. Hey. I've answered that question too many times. I'm my way here today. So, I had a, a few odd run-ins. You say like, okay, the information's out there. Google it if you want to right, know. You, you know, should know by now. Either look at me. Oh, Google it. Do Google. Hey, and John Lennon, another singer. It's yeah, nice this is sing. Regina Cramp. Another singer who came back from the dead. <laughs> hey, that's my new claim to fame. Oh, you were dead too. Recently passed, now I'm back. Like a minute ago. <laughs> Scott, Scott, I love meeting all your friends. <laughs> Hot air. Yeah, well, it's, it's uh, great well, to have you some here. Some of us, you know. So I do know Obviously, you. Gino's here. Gino, right. <laughs> and Chief right over here. Greeting, Gumshoe. <laughs> Gumshoe John Lennon. Yes. Born on the island of Liverpool. In the green grays. 
So he's got my Wikipedia page open. <laughs> Sing us a song. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm not a taco anymore. I've never been one. Hey. Before. No, Be like one of your hits. Oh, but if I could be. that One of my hits? Yeah. Yeah, that is one hit. <laughs> Wait, that's a whistling Pete that's song? That's a soon-to-be hit if I get the whistling Pete album off the ground. <laughs> yeah, we really need you to get it. Oh, I, I want to talk about my Indiegogo if I could. Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> By the way, I see you didn't bring uh, a guitar again. No, so, no. I, but I brought the muffins. Oh, thank yeah, happy you. eighth show? Is this the eighth episode? No, it's the eighth anniversary. <laughs> oh, well, happy for you. <laughs> You've been on more than eight. Well, is that so? <laughs> you lose track after a while. You do. I they bleed you for the into each other. You're hey, John Leonard, I got a question to ask you. Sure. Are you wearing a Ron Paul shirt? <laughs> it's the only one that fit. <laughs> I've got so many shirts at home that don't fit. And I was running out. Did you used to be a different size or something? <laughs> yeah. I like to wear, on, on Saturdays, I like to wear ones that go past my knees. <laughs> <laughs> like a ghost like dress. Like a nighty. Or what, a like an Ezer dress. Screw? <laughs> a ghost right. dress. I wear one to bed that goes to my feet, and then I wake up and put one on that goes to my knees. And for dinner, I wear one that goes to my collarbone. You have a so different you, outfit for dinner? So it's just from your shoulders to your collarbone? <laughs> That's it's right. It's a tube-top ghost Like a dicky? <laughs> but it goes much. I think we talked about this in the last show I was on. It's like a romper Sorry. with no just, pride. No, not specifically. I think it was shorts we were talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, shorts. Okay. Your, your theory is the higher the waistband of the shorts, <laughs> right. that makes the shorts shorter. Right, you keep pulling them up and up. That's right. A dicky. Invented by Green Bay Packers quarterback Lynn Dickey from the island of Green Bay. <laughs> do you? Can we talk? an island with you. Yeah, so do you think islands. everything is an island? <laughs> so many islands. Everything is an island when you're alone, Scott Gumshoe. You are not alone. I am your goddamn sister. Acknowledge me. <laughs> Who is this person? <laughs> That's Bone Queef. That's right. You're not going to forget that name. You can't. Uh, talk about your Indiegogo. I'm what? actually from an island. Which one? <laughs> oh, a very long one. Is it, is it shorter, though, when it stands up? It's shorter if you look at it from uh, the north shore to south shore, mm-hmm. but it's longer if you're looking towards Orient Point or Montauk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank Orient you for that. Orient Point. It Every is. hour on the hour. <laughs> <laughs> that reference is for 11 listeners commuting into the city well, for their advertising job. <laughs> John, tell us about your Indiegogo. Well, you know, I need, to have, I need some help setting it up. <laughs> what, what can I do to help you? <laughs> Oh, meaning you need help setting up the Indiegogo. I need someone to punch the keys. I thought when he asked you to tell uh, me about your Indiegogo was help setting it up. <laughs> yeah, right. He said, I want to talk about my Indiegogo. Right, any listener out I there who wants to help me. I thought it was an existing thing. <laughs> so no, at this point, yet. you just have an idea and you need money. <laughs> Did we talk about your Indiegogo? What, what is it about? It's about getting Whistling Pete off the ground. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. But, you know, it takes a long time to, to get you know log on to in the internet. Uh, not really. It takes a millisecond, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not the way I do it. How come, uh, what are you, Jack Braff? Why are you asking for money from the people? Why uh, are you, uh, yeah, you're speaking, John Lennon. Speaking of a Scrubs-themed restaurant. <laughs> I don't want no Scrubs with their Indiegogos and Kickstarters when they already got money. Okay, then we're going to run into a lot of problems here. <laughs> you're one of the most successful musicians of all time. Thank Why you very you? much. Okay. You know, it takes a lot to pull that out of you sometimes. <laughs> okay, I, just, I didn't, didn't realize you were fishing, but you caught something. That's half the reason I'm making this album. <laughs> just for you to give me a smile. But, but Will you buy it? Show what, me what that I'm trying to smile. Say is that, that Show is, me that smile. That is translated into financial success. Show you should be very well off. Well, I don't. You don't. You know. You don't become a millionaire by giving your money away <laughs> to make your own <laughs> albums. Do you guys know the theme song to Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Sure. Where in, in the world, world is Carmen San Diego? Diego. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Thanks, Chucky, for that. Hey, yo. Do you, I'm here all week. Chucky, do you know any songs? <laughs> yeah. Which ones do you know? I know baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear a little baloney. <laughs> Blah 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 sandwich. Blah 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 sandwich. Not bad. It's the baloney she's not saying. No, the baloney singing it. Blah, the baloney singing the song. It's from the point of view of the baloney. The album and the song title. All right. Well, like general public. Um. So, John, what else has been going on with you? Did you make the drive over? Uh, yeah, I made the... Wait, well, what's I, the... Oh, the Indiegogo is Whistling Pete. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. so you need someone, a listener out there to volunteer. To just make the page for me and raise the money and send the money to me. 
<laughs> so everything. Do everything. Write a song if you want. Something what about like an like. angel investor? What? Someone who maybe wants to give you the money instead of uh, from various people. I don't care where the money comes from. <laughs> if anyone out there wants to give me it all the money. It just can't be your. What about Yoko? I'd, I'd rather not talk to her. <laughs> she's out there. I know she's out there and she knows I'm wearing her a hat. And she's got, a lot of, she's got a lot of your money. Yeah, well, I, I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, only way to get it back is to go talk to her. <laughs> I don't want to do that, Scott. I'm making it very clear. I don't want to talk to my old wife. Okay. Hey, John, John <laughs> Lennon? Yes. I think you should consider this an intervention. You mm. need to talk to Yoko Ono. Is that what this is all about? Yeah, yeah we, a, you bring me, you, you drag me out of my bed. It actually is our eighth anniversary, but uh, it's doubling as an intervention. Yeah, yeah. that's why we got all your closest friends. That's right, <laughs> Bone Queef. That's right, <laughs> Chucky I, Spliff. I don't know who I am. <laughs> I consider these two to be very close to me, having just met them. I can help you find Yoko Ono. You've been but looking I, for one person for 50 years and ain't found that motherfucker. And a person who's wearing red, you know, the brightest color we know. Yeah. Have you ever considered looking after that little girl in Schindler's List? That's if you don't know yellow and orange. Red will be one of the brightest if, if you don't know the other ones, the brighter ones. Well, you know, neon colors, you know, does that even factor in? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question, John. I know. Do we have a color specialist out there who can answer that? I'm sorry. It's an taking... American specialist now. Oh, I, know okay. you're from a different... I see what you're doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's know, an intervention. We, we really oh. think you need to go back to Yoko. I mean, it, it, uh, you know, it's been, it's been too long. Okay, well, if everyone wants to raise a point of why I should, that yeah, would be let's, great. Yeah, let's read our letters. Uh, Regina, yeah. I see you unfolding yours. <laughs> yes, here I go. It's very tiny. I wrote it on a, on a novelty-sized piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like... Peanut, oh, though. yeah, one of those joke pieces of paper. <laughs> it's a regular size paper for Peanut. Yeah, New Jersey boardwalk. <laughs> yeah, Peanut would like it, but he's in the duffel bag. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear the letter. Dear John, I'm writing to ask you to please stop not finding your wife. It's killing all of us. It's killing me from the inside out. And guess what? I've already been dead once today. Hey, P.S. We once had laughs from coast to coast <laughs> to make us smile. The real life look at each of you that captured all our style. It was the red, it was the white, it was the blue. It was the funny things we do. America, America, this was you. Wow, you can that get through it. it in letter form. If she writes, if she just says it and changes the tense, <laughs> right. then she can get through it no okay, problem. Okay, interesting. That took a different, that took a turn like, I wasn't expecting. I'd like to go next. But if, Please. Yeah. Okay. Look at your letter, it's written on a grain of sand. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had it done on the boardwalk. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's the Lord's Prayer. Let me flip it over. <laughs> I want to hear that, too, though. John, yeah. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, earth is in heaven. Give us his day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. We forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. Uh, lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. I got it, I got it, Gino. <laughs> <laughs> From the island of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John Lennon. Your behavior in not fighting your wife has hurt me in the following ways. I, there creates a lot of tension here in the podcast. Uh, it, it is demoralizing to everyone, especially me, because I have to make cakes under a very limited uh, time budget, and uh, I can't do it because I'm thinking about you not giving her hat back. Please, I beg of you, uh, uh, if you still want me in your life, you have to go uh, and, and reunite with your wife, Yoko Ono, the end, cake boss. I did realize I was hurting you. Well, my selfishness is uh, wanting to keep this beret on my head most times. You're not even wearing the beret. <laughs> most times. I got a thought. Scott. You've never worn the beret. Anytime well, you know, you've been I, here. you keep wearing the beret, it's going to wear right through. <laughs> but it's a scarf. Yeah, bone queef. Let, uh, let me unfurl my letter. Dear John. Turn his levels up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a scroll. Dear John. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an old piece of parchment. Thanks. Listen, some might say that you You're have. Welcome. A bone to pick with Yoko Ono and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> but you don't. You got to find your family. Family is important, okay? Just take this 23andMe quiz and you will find out if she is still your family. Do you have the quiz listed there? I is do, that... yeah. The first question is, what, who is your Who's favorite, favorite Chappelle? Chappelle? <laughs> the second question. Well, yeah, who is it oh, for you? Uh, David Law. Great. David Law. The great. second question, who is your favorite Murphy? Ooh, Law. 
<laughs> Law Murphy, great. Okay, we are well Murphy's, on our Murphy's way. Law, I no, I think no. it's Law Murphy. Law, oh, it's Law, Law Murphy. Murphy. It's someone I knew. Uh, he was a subway car conductor. <laughs> great. Oh. We are well on our way to finding out. He was one of the guys owner. who led a little orchestra on a subway? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, it was a tidy orchestra. It was mice. <laughs> I, I nice gotta, I gotta let. I'd like to read. Okay, yeah, Chuck, Chucky, Chucky, we'll Chucky do the quiz later. Chucky Spliff, go ahead. Uh, all right, you oozing. Just, uh, what color is this? <laughs> it's aqua. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, <laughs> let me get my letter out here. Okay. Yeah, by the way, if you have a letter to read and you say you want to read it, please have the letter out. <laughs> you... oh, yeah. Wasting valuable airtime. All right, here we go. Chucky, you're holding a pair of boxer briefs. <laughs> <laughs> that Dear you were John. just wearing. Yeah, that they think. <laughs> you wrote it in shit. <laughs> Crispy calamari, seven ninety five. Wait, you Side have a b- salad. Oops. You have a menu on your boxer briefs? <laughs> <laughs> Written in shit. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I'm doing too good. <laughs> okay, look, we need the to food at that restaurant. <laughs> better be very good. We, we That's need- a pretty good deal for crispy calamata. <laughs> we need to take a break. Uh, John, will you consider it after the show? Consider taking the break? No, consider going back to Yoko. <laughs> I'll consider anything. I would love you to bring her here sometime. Oh, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. <laughs> Ratings. <laughs> Look, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more of the 8th anniversary of Comedy Bang Bang. Can everyone stick around? Everyone good? Yeah. I got literally yeah. nowhere else to go. I'm yeah. lost. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more after this. Cue break, action break. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, look, I don't need to reintroduce everyone who's here, but we got uh, Gino, we got John Lennon, Drums, <laughs> Kick Boss, Come on. and uh, Regina Crimp, Chucky Spliff, Bone yeah. Queef, <laughs> Chief. Uh, and of course, it's time to get to our next guest behind the paywall. <laughs> Um, Thanks for going off mic and into my ear. <laughs> As he screamed, Scott fought it so hard he jumped up in his chair. Yeah, I did. Chuggy. Hey, I thought that was just me who could do that. Is that your catchphrase? Yep. <laughs> Let's do it. I say go. T shirt. I just met you and this is crazy, but please bend over and accept my gravy. Welcome to Comedy oh, Bang Bang. Oh, oh, <laughs> Happy holidays. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, Jeez, Louise. Welcome to Comedy <laughs> Bang Bang. Thanks to Shampoodler. Oh, Shampoodler. Oh, finally. This motherfucker's oh, back. Oh, man. Enough of that filth, Shampoodler. <laughs> We'll see you next year. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang, and uh, this is it. This is our end of the year holiday spectacular, and boy, oh boy, what a show we have planned for you today. A lot of water is being poured, and you know what that means. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was a little behind schedule. I just got just <laughs> You're ahead of schedule. You usually come in five minutes late to talk about the water. I know, I'm sorry, but I just landed from a Perillo Toys. And you're just pour. you are pouring from a giant jug into a, like a smaller jug. Yes, I'm going jug to jug, baby. <laughs> jug to jug, also one of my favorite, my favorite search terms. <laughs> I was uh-huh. just going right. to say, one of my favorite porn hub categories. Sure. Okay, here we go. I'm Scott Ackerman. Hi, Scott Ackerman. I'm the host, and uh, did I just hear a ghost? <laughs> I'm the host. With no, the ghost. not a ghost. <laughs> Uh, and this is our end of the year special. We're going to have a lot of guests on today. A lot of our, our old favorites, some of our new favorites, and uh, some people we don't like very much. But um, <laughs> Make sure you tell each and every person yeah, where they fall on the continuum. Exactly. Okay, uh, I didn't know he was going to be talking to, so I gotta, we got to redo the whole thing. With yeah, please levels. redo. Yeah, the levels sound very, very odd. By I'm the way, sorry. you're not doing the levels. We have. I know, course, but I'm going to convey all that information to Brett. Please chime in as often as you like. <laughs> <laughs> that goes for everybody. Probably more than I. <laughs> Like, um, let's go around the horror. Who was that just singing? Ba ba ba. Who the fuck do you think it was, bitch? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think it was? Blech. That's right. Our old friend Ho Ho is here. Ho-ho. Hello, Ho Ho. Ho Ho, of course, Ho-ho. the naughty elf. Mm-hmm. Uh, who, Spank me, daddy. <laughs> who works up at the North Pole? I don't work. I jerk off. <laughs> Like Very this. Good. Oh, God. Holy oh, Jesus. shit. What? The Ho-ho, speed what? and strength. Ho Ho just jerked Ho-ho. off his candy cane dick. Mm-hmm, and then it came snow. Aren't you all glad? Doesn't usually snow in LA. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Ho-Ho. Uh, yeah. I, God, I can't it. imagine it's why Gino's running around licking, trying to catch it in his mouth. Oh, you got to catch them fucking libtard <laughs> snowflakes any chance you can. Catch them all. <laughs> got to catch them all. That's me, Ash, from Pokemon. Uh-huh. <laughs> of course, uh, the person talking right now is Gino Lombardo. But I won't be talking anymore after this. Once oh, really? you introduce all 11 people that are here, okay. I'm going to just kind of back off. Today, it's musician record thyself? <gasps> because oh, Brett... Oh, 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 auto erotic recording <laughs> because Brett is currently uh, uh, doing service can you open that right into the mic Paul I mean like a, like a nana at the theater <laughs> with, a, with a with a they didn't make the announcement <laughs> I need a, pe- the I need a I peppermint. <laughs> I need a peppermint and some gelt. I'm Is that gelt? Are you eating gelt? I'm having <laughs> celery wrapped in cellophane, my favorite theater snack. All right, that's Mayor Junius <laughs> Bubble Junior. No, Dunery. it's not. Well, I'm a different person. Oh, oh you really? are? You sound exactly <laughs> like di- Mayor Junior. No, Jun- I don't. You'll see. <laughs> All right. Coming up a little later on the show, Mayor <laughs> Junius Bobbledoonery, who sounds nothing like that. Uh, but today, today, Brett has been uh, uh, doing some time in a uh, in a band in his off hours. Uh, he's been playing the bass guitar, I believe. Is that is that what That's you're holding correct, right yeah. now? Yes. Uh, Slapping the bass. <laughs> I seen that fucking movie. <laughs> Thank you, Gino. <laughs> Uh, and Kurt, on fire already, uh, Gino. Gino, my uh, intern, of course, who flies in from uh, Long Island. Is that yep, where you're from? I fly in from uh, the White Plains Airport. <laughs> Wait, no, I drive up to the White Plains Airport and right. fly in. Yeah, fly into where? What airport does that go to? I goes to Palm Springs, and then I do like a light weekend there, as sort of like a. Uh, you know, I don't know how to, like a human table, whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What t- are you talking about? You're human a table. human table? Old rich gay dudes lo- love tables, but they also like little skinny boys. <laughs> so they put like tea and shit on my back, and I sit on all floors by the pool, and oh. they just eat and drink off of me. Okay, I've never heard of this. Are That's you like clothed? That's a good money maker. <laughs> I'm clothed, and then once the uh, sun goes down, I'm allowed to remove my, because they don't want, they don't want me getting all sunburned. Wait, you're, you're, you want to be removing your clothes Because it's fucking hot <laughs> sitting on all floors in Palm Springs in a full leather their bodysuit it's exhausting oh okay I didn't, yeah, we didn't hear about that. in your ass crack they don't but I come with it <laughs> oh you come with it no oh, no I arrive at the party f- with my ass with I'm gonna arrive right roll. now Wee! <laughs> oh my god it's snowing again oh god <laughs> oh god <laughs> actually it tastes pretty good yeah you would say that uh, <laughs> it's minty and so, and so every single time you've done the show, you've flown into Palm Springs and I gotta done do this? i got to do a weekend in Palm Springs. It's just easier that Does way. Does that pay I'm already, for the trip? That pretty much covered, because, you know, I'm an intern, so I'm just sure. getting college credits for the last four years. Right. And uh, So you must be ready to graduate. Yeah, I have uh, 11 minors at Nassau Community College. Wow. I haven't picked mm. a major yet, though. Oh, ha- yeah. oh have not. So, uh, well, well, good for you. You're, well, thank yeah, you. You know, you're out there making it happen. I appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm a little tired because I did a Perillo Tours. What is what is Perillo tours? What does that mean? <laughs> That's when uh, they get a bunch of people from Long Island and take them to Italy. Is that not a thing that everybody knows? No, about? no. I think that might That's, be just a Long Island thing. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense because they pick everyone up at um, All American Burger on Merrick Road in Syosset. And That's they right, Gino. You know, it's me, Mario Perillo. Hey, <laughs> Mario I love, Perillo. I love taking people on tours to Italy. I thought you were driving behind me all the way from fucking Palm Springs. It's you, Mario. Got, gotta go. All right. Well, wow. thanks, Mario this Perillo and of- that old woman with the candy just Wait walked up, off Mario. together. <laughs> This episode of Comedy Bang Bang brought to you by Perillo Tours <laughs> and uh, Brock's Candy. And s- <laughs> speaking of people speaking, uh, the person right to my left that you just heard speaking, Jason Manzukis. Hooray! Currently in The Disaster Artist and sent yes, those everywhere. very briefly, but sure. Mm, sure, why not? Uh, how so are other you? movies you've been in longer, but they, you know... No, I'm just setting expectations, that's sure, all. Sure, just setting sure. expectations. Of course. Um, how are you? Uh, I'm great. How are you? Um, uh, we were both sick this week. That's right. Uh, still uh, kind of uh, over the, still trying to get over the hump. You really? saw, you saw yeah. each other in the hospital? Yeah. 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 yeah, we held hands. Were you we washing hands. each other's bodies with a, with a sponge bag? Come on, Ho-Ho, you can do it. <laughs> who, <laughs> who, has better, it. who has better coverage? Whose AZT cocktail costs less? Hey, come on, Gino. Oh, God. God damn it, Gino. <laughs> 
Of course, oh, yeah. uh, uh, right over here, bringing up the rear, uh, as they say, uh, our old friend. We haven't seen him in a while. Uh, he is a formerly deceased musical idol <laughs> who decided true. to come back to life. Uh, John Lennon is oh, here. Hello. hello, drums. Yes. I always forget. To, I want to get that out of the way. Get it, get it right out of the way. Yes. Very you good. Know, you were talking about the bass guitar earlier. I certainly was. Yeah, you Thank know, you for Brett, listening. Wait, <laughs> I, that's, I came in on that part. Oh, okay. We used to have a bass guitar in our band. <laughs> You're, uh, you're the Beatles. Yeah, right. The band, the European band, I played in. Yes, of course. One yeah. of our one of our guys played uh, bass. Yeah, Paul McCartney. Yeah, we. That's know. That's right. You know him. Yeah, yeah. As well. It's a very famous band. Sure, and, and we never really switched it up much. It was usually just him on the bass, mostly. R- yeah, sure. But you were all very musically proficient. I would say so. Yeah, we were a big band. Yeah. Did well, he enjoy slapping the bass? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he would pluck it and slap it and do everything to it. But uh, I wouldn't. I never touched it. <laughs> you never touched his bass. Couldn't. Why not? But I shouldn't, and I wouldn't. Oh, okay, but you could. And I didn't. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> now, do you guys do any mosh pitting at your shows? Uh, we, d- we dive a little. We do a bit of stage diving. Okay, we I'll do. make sure to stay away, because I don't want to be responsible for holding you up. Because you, you might hurt yourself. Because you have brittle little arms from being dead? <laughs> I'm alive. Oh, I thought you were dead. Yeah, but those five, I was dead. Those now five years you were dead, though, like, did you decompose at all? Is... You do a little bit, but once you decide to come back, your, your bones and your you muscles... regenerate? Thoop, right back out. Oh, really? Uh, okay. So you're as strong as you ever were. Uh, and a little bit more. Okay, but you're, oh. not, a, you're not a bodybuilder. Do you have any kind of, like, superpowers having come back? No, no, I just go to, the, or... I go to the gym. Is oh, being yeah. immortal not enough, Jason? Do you do CrossFit? <laughs> I try to. I do a lot of uh, parkour. In, uh, in the gym. John Lennon doing a lot of parkour right, in the gym. I'll jump around the weights and things like does that. that. People, does that bother people? Hate people? It. Oh, they hate it. They hate it. I said, well, I'm paying the money to be here. <laughs> well, they are, too. Because like, are... That's what they say to me. Right. And right. By, by the time, you know, they want me to respond, I'm already jumping away. You, well, you can't, you, you can't go into a movie theater and start doing parkour in the middle of a movie theater. You... Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm saying you shouldn't. And, <laughs> and, and should not. And but don't. I did. <laughs> All right, well, seems like you're not that great at uh, taking instructions some of the time. But as far as Paul McCartney's bass... T- to leave it alone. Yeah. Or he'll snap you with it. Re- is that what would happen? Yeah, he would take the strings and, you know, pull them back and snap you. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, a bra- like a bra strap? <laughs> right. He'd make you wear the bass. <laughs> <laughs> like a bra. He'd trick you into it. Say, oh, you want to play it so bad? Oh, sure, I'd love to play it. You put it on and he pulls it back. Let me just show you how to do it. Snaps you. Oh. Oh. Don't ever touch that again, you fucking asshole. Oh, my God. Well, he, he sounds like a naughty boy, Ho-Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Was he on the naughty list? <laughs> Ho-Ho likes that. <laughs> He's an old man. <laughs> right, but he... What, when he was a baby? You want to know if he was on the naughty list? Yeah, although when does it, what's the cutoff? He's uh, an old man, but he has an old lady's haircut. Well, uh, <laughs> well, either way, that's old. Fair I only enough. fuck with little kids. <laughs> right, what's, what's the cutoff? Fuck with, like fuck with. <laughs> what's the cutoff? What, what, at what point do you not uh, give them presents in? Uh, once you stop believing in Santa Claus. Oh, well, for me, that was like, uh, I don't know, six years old or something. My parents told me there wasn't one. Oh, that's fucked up. Really? 50 yeah, years six, ago? You've six. spent the last 50 what? years not believing in Santa? 50 years? <laughs> Shut up. Did they want credit for buying you the shitty gifts? Yeah, were they, did, were they just not wanting to like put up with your whining about Santa anymore? I And they made it seem like I was too old for even thinking that there was a Santa Claus. <laughs> did you go into their closet and find the ball and cup that they were going to give you for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> your, your orange in your stocking? <laughs> Look, You're I didn't grow up stick. well off. I'm sorry. Some old bubble wrap. <laughs> Pre-popped. <For> modern invention. <laughs> Is, this is a busy time of year for you, Ho-Ho. Busy, Thank you. busy, hello. Mm-hmm. I gotta go make a bunch of stuff this year just to give people... Everyone's feeling really upset about the current climate, so they want to hurt people, and I gotta help them. What kind of toys are popular this year? Um, guns. <laughs> Everyone wants a gun. Yeah. Pink gun. What about, uh, I mean, uh, I don't, for girls. You know, I think I think guns, especially these days, with what hap- what's been happening all over the uh, all over the world, especially in this country, though, I, is that really a responsible gift? If everyone had a gun, they wouldn't have died. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, you know, all this talk about guns is sort of making me. They're just flashing me back to a <laughs> split second of my life that I hated. <laughs> Was it painful when was you it, died? Was it recording Let It Be? Did you go straight to <laughs> no, hell? No, I had fun doing that. <laughs> you had fun? I had fun recording those songs. Really? Yeah, because you know there are a lot of fun songs to do. Yeah, what about Octopus's Garden? You had fun <laughs> yeah. doing that? 
That one's fun because that you feel like sucks. you're on water. Hey! <laughs> hey! Anyone who likes that song and Yellow Submarine is a bitch. I happen to like those songs very much. Well, they suck. Well, they're from my friend, okay? Not a big not a big Ringo Starr fan, eh? Oh. My friend made those and he, he put his ass on the line to make those songs. <laughs> he put his ass on the line? I don't like yeah. a Coke? <laughs> yeah, he used to sit on the Coke and fart on it. And then, and then, you know, you don't waste it, so we would do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got terribly you used to sick. snort farted upon Coke? <laughs> Ringo's fart Coke <laughs> to make us so sick. Get Wasn't pink, that the original name that of one of those songs? <laughs> That's what the White Album was supposed to be called. <laughs> Ring, Ringo's, fart, Ringo's Coke? fart Coke? <laughs> <laughs> the White Album cover farted? is just an extreme close-up on some of Ringo's fart Coke. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a line, and he farted, and it became the whole cover. <laughs> yeah, it blew it everywhere. <laughs> Wow, we're getting trivia. off topic. Oh, why? What is oh, the topic? Can I ask you, can I ask? I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm inter- I am interested to hear uh, any more toys that are popular this oh, year, yeah, Hobo, Hobo. just because, you know. Yeah, well, you know, so there's guns for sure, and then people have been doing this really fun thing that they're really enjoying, which is uh, connecting knives together to make really long knives. Like a sword? Mmm, different. <laughs> 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 like dinner knives, but really long, so you can run at your dad. <laughs> How are they connecting them? With glue and gum. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> Is it the gum first and that's not enough so they put on the glue? Or? You got it right. Uh, <laughs> why not just like for me. get rid of the gum at this point and just do glue? Well, you know, people like the original design. Yeah, I guess so. You can't argue with it. Do people really work for you, Ho-Ho? I always uh-huh. thought you were a uh, rogue operation. No, I, I work for myself, but I'm saying if you if you got these great ideas, you can come work for me. I mean, you need... You don't have any current employees. Mm, just me. C- because you are Santa's employee, essentially. Yeah, and I'm magical. I can do everything. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I mean, en- uh, enough isn't talked about in, in regards to enough that. Enough isn't like- talked about in regards to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're so magical, why do you need to make the the toys all year? We need to talk about enough. Let's put it on the table. Uh, You're talking about the J-Lo movie, Enough? (laughs) Where she learns Krav Maga? Yeah, no spoilers. It's one of my... (laughs) (laughs) Halfway through. (laughs) Well, (laughs) unpause it and just finish watching it. All right, I'll (laughs) take a look. (laughs) It's on your phone right now? (laughs) (laughs) I don't need the sound. That's where I got the reference from. You said Enough. I thought you had seen uh, Lennon's little iPad Oh, I would assume, yeah. I thought he was watching The Boy Next Door. (laughs) Oh, no, no. You just saw J-Lo and you know her movies. Exactly. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, ho ho. <laughs> Do you make the Xboxes and the PS4s and shit? Um, no, because those are bullshit games for good boys and girls. Oh, you only make. I no- only make weapons and shit. <laughs> shit that hurts. A lot yeah. of shit you don't like. Like Duty on Fire in a bag. Oh. Ooh. Do as, kids- as a gift. Yeah. <laughs> Do kids, kids ask for that? They don't ask, but they get it. <laughs> So some kids get a gun without asking for it just for being bad. That mm-hmm. seems like rewarding that, negative that, behavior. Yeah, that's so, a, that's, I agree. That doesn't seem like a good plan. It's the path they're on. <laughs> it just seems like they're, they're reinforcing. The All right. Well, uh, we, we definitely need to get to our first guest, and I mentioned what? him earlier. <laughs> Oh, we're the panel. I see. I meant yes, of course. I see. So just to be clear, we're that all means Kevin. we're all going to be part of all the rest of the guests. <laughs> sure. Great. We're all the Kevin Eubanks of this bullshit. Boom. <laughs> and now you've got it. Boom. <laughs> But I want to welcome our next guest. He is uh, he recently came back to the show after being gone for a while. Uh, John Lennon is back. Hello, hello John. how are you doing? Uh, speaking of immortal, hello, welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Sorry I was late. Yeah, well, no problem. <laughs> Where were you though? I was I was taking uh, a lost weekend. No, no, I don't do that anymore. Oh, okay. I was taking gifts down to the children's uh, shelter. The, ch- the oh. children's <laughs> children's shelter. <laughs> yeah. You were taking gifts down. It was yeah, I was taking it down to St. Catherine's uh, School for Disadvantaged Children and, oh. uh, and Ugly Children. Oh, <laughs> and Ugly and Children. Ugly. Just tack that on. So the some end. of the ugly children have it made, but is that like ugly. a smaller building out back? That's just not the same. No, it's all a small building. Oh, it's all the small right. building is right in the front. But they have the advantages that the disadvantaged children don't have. Right, but they're uh, just ugly. Other than their looks, right? Right, and uh, it's a dang very. It. So if I wasn't this adorable, I could get more gifts. From John Lennon, yeah. I yeah. mean, what, well, type of, what type of gifts are we talking about? Well, I do want to say I lost most of them on the way there. So I, <laughs> you did. I didn't deliver it. How did you lose them? I had them in a sack. Santa okay. Claus, you know, you understand. Oh, sure. yeah. Santa does oh, this I, This guy's got a girl. fucking sack on him. Trust me. We saw <laughs> okay, it. Don't make Gino, him talk about that. Please. Now, that's interesting to me. Why would you not want Santa to talk about his sack? 
To um, me, it's as normal as it's I don't my know. own personal playground. <laughs> it's private. Interesting. It's we haven't met private. before. <laughs> private. You guys are playing with each other the entire show. <laughs> you, you, you go, oh, oh wait. God. You, you should see what it's like at home. Yeah, I was gonna say you're a prude oh. at this point. Here's Bye, a prude. Mr. Lennon. <laughs> love your song. Thank you very which, much. Which one? Simply <laughs> having the wonderful, wonderful Christmas time. time. That's Paul McCartney. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Either do I. He did so this is Christmas and what? Right, I don't like that one. Right, yeah. No, was, I didn't like that one as much as the other one you just said. That one's too, too emotional. You like Paul's cry. better. I like Paul better, yeah. Yeah. Than me. <laughs> do you Paul. wish Paul is your favorite Beatle? He's my favorite Beatle. He's not he's not my favorite friend. No, Ringo, of course, is your favorite right. friend. Well, yeah. Why Ringo. is Ringo not your favorite Beatle as well as your favorite friend? Oh, it's complicated, but it mostly comes down to, you know, musicianship. <laughs> Does Ringo know this? I tell him on most days. <laughs> what a good friend. You do want someone who keeps you honest. Why aren't you talking to Paul all that much if you love him so much? I can't get him on the phone. Oh, he's very busy. Yeah, he's yeah. an email guy and I don't do email. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't do it well. What do you think of his plastic surgery? It makes him look really young, doesn't it? Uh, I think, yeah, it makes him look younger than his son. <laughs> How has he kept his beautiful brown hair for such a long time? Yeah, can I tell you, uh, can I tell you something? Yeah, please. That's a clump of dirt. <laughs> what? It's not hair. No, is he bald as a beat? It never was hair. He always had dirt on his head. You're kidding. Kidding me! All is a what? It's always just been. So, th does this remind you of the time you found out it was dirt on his head? Does what remind you? <laughs> we're just trying to see I if we're going to fall into a flashback. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Oh, oh that, is that matter. what's happening on this show today? Yeah. This, yeah. Show, this, <laughs> show, this show has built-in flashbacks. If, Good. To answer your question, yeah. in quotes, yes. Yeah. Gino, how are you? I'm wonderful, Johnny. Good, Good to see you, God, bud. Yeah, I'm sorry about the, the uh, Kramp, uh, Krampus DVD you lent me. Uh, yeah, I know. I, what happened to I it? I snapped it in half. <laughs> Why? Because I, I watched a bit of it. Adam Scott is in that. I, I, good, good for him. <laughs> But I was watching it, and I opened it up. It was too scary. I snapped it in half. Re you didn't even put it into the DVD player? No, I did. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I skipped that part. You, slept, you snapped the DVD player in half? <laughs> no, the DVD player is fine. Okay, it's thank so, God. Oh, okay. And you still got to give me back my DVD player. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was not part of the, I don't know that was part of the deal. I lent you a DVD player and Krampus on DVD because you had said you never seen Krampus. Right. So I gave you my TV, and I gave you a DVD. You said, I don't have a DVD player. Right. So I give you my DVD player. Right, but the deal was for the DVD itself. <laughs> and no I, thought the, I thought the DVD player was just, you know, you being nice. This is like a one-way gift to the Magi. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a well, DVD player anymore, why did I loan you my copy of Jack Frost on DVD? Yeah. And if well, you I thought, loaned him your copy of Jack Frost on DVD, DVD, why did you ask for the jacket to Jack Frost that you lent me back recently? Is and that you your jacket? Lent, I don't know. <laughs> Is that your jacket? Is that your jacket? Because I put it somewhere else. <laughs> Man, so, I'm lost as hell, man. Not, not me. You're, You're not the only one. No, I get it. <laughs> you, yeah. You he's one of the few. I get this. <laughs> You're locked in. I get this stuff. Break it down for us, John. John. Sing a song about well, it. John, you were telling me uh, when you called me up and asked if you could be on the show. You right, said I, that, I had to beg you. You said that you had uh, <laughs> you were gonna bring you were gonna get your guitar back from Ringo. Right. And you were gonna play some songs and give us some holiday cheer. Yeah, I, you know, I said a lot of things on that phone message. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Primarily those things that. I mentioned. Right. And, is and that, uh, you, you left a few things out. What's that? I'm very grateful for you having me on the show. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't feel like I needed to. You're one of the handsomest that. guys here in Hollywood. Uh, very gracious. Uh, Thank you so much. You're someone who's as, the t as tall as the day is long. <laughs> yeah, about 24 hours. Right. So where's that guitar? Uh, yeah, you know, the guitar is fine, I'll have you know. Oh, good. It's right. fine. Well, break it out. And... Well, you know, it doesn't have any strings. Oh, but you got it back? I have it here. So I could I could hit on it if you oh, want. Okay. okay, but wait, Ringo broke all the strings. He he took them off. He why? Because he's a fool. <laughs> did, did you write that song about him on a hill? What? <laughs> you don't remember no. your own song? No, I don't remember any of my own songs. <laughs> fool on a hill comes to mind though. <laughs> yeah, I, that is a song of yours. That is a song of mine. It's a Paul song, I think. I don't know. Uh, well, that, yeah, that's it. a good. That's a good question. That might be a Paul song, and, and maybe uh, little, it is. So and, uh, it's kind of wow. hard because they both split up the writing. <laughs> wow. we don't. But hey, look, John. Yes. So you got it back. I see the skeleton finger whammy bar. Right. So that's a good step. And that's a good step. And and I would love it if we did a gift exchange here and someone had strings. You're gonna give it away. 
In no, order for no, I want now? To strings. You're going to give it away now? <laughs> you got to give it away now. Who are you? you California. <laughs> if, <laughs> what you, what you you've got, it. you've got to give it away. Red hot chili peppers? Yeah, yeah I, I, I know. Yes. Cal. You're right. Cal who? Californication, you Cal fucking Worthington? idiot. California raisins. That guy, the sugar ben, gang guy. What? I heard Cal that. Solomon. I'm just over here Cal doing Solomon, donuts in the corner. You. Californication Solomon. He's a, you don't know him. No. Well, I know that guy. Oh, you do oh, know that guy. Oh, that poor weirdo. <laughs> oh, that poor, oh, poor He's fucked up. <laughs> um, no, I wish I did have my guitar here. I'll tell you that. You, you do. do. <laughs> I, mean, I wish I had it playing. Yeah, you, could play it. you could play I it. I wish... <laughs> What did I just say about the strings? Okay, we there are no, no strings. strings on it. You know what? I have no, seen I mean, it's really, you say one strings. thing and no one listens. And no one listens. And no one listens. And no one listens. The payment is one guitar. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Wow. That's an actual <laughs> gift of the magi. Absolutely gift of the magi. Now we hit the gift of the magi. Be- oh, yeah, that's the head. Yeah. Beth, if you wanted to earn some good points, some nice you points, just give you could to just him. give him uh, the, the strings. I was lying. It's just a bunch of string cheese. Beth! Oh, this Beth. is a oh, real hold on, incident. Hold on. <laughs> can we use the Don't string Don't give cheese? up we yet. Can, we can still talk about this string cheese. <laughs> it's the my incident. Way. The... Yeah, the Wait incident vis a vis the string cheese, of course. <laughs> so you didn't bring, you brought your string guitar, but you there. have no way to play these seasonal hymns. That I, you I, did, yeah, I do not. Do you just want to sing the macapel? <laughs> oh, can I sing you my favorite song of the year? Yeah, please. Don't right. stop me now. Did you see Bohemian Rhapsody? I have not. <laughs> my favorite movie of the year. Really? really? You said you were going to sing your favorite song of the year, and then you just sang <laughs> one line. You sang three words. Do you what? not know any of the other words to that song? Sing it, man. Some might not know the whole lyrics to that song. And, it, and are you part of some? I'm, I'm part of the big group of that who doesn't <laughs> okay, know the cool. song. So now uh, you love Bohemian Rap. What do you like about it? Do you I like- didn't see it. I love Queen the most. I, they're the best oh, band okay. around. You were just asking if people had seen it. <laughs> right. Have you guys seen it? I did you want to know if it was... Wait, you did see it. I did not see it, but I love Queen. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want a movie like that made about you? Where I get to play Freddie Mercury? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would yes. love that. Sure. You brought I've, your got own, enough, I've got enough tank tops at home. You brought your own handlebar mustache, I noticed. <laughs> you, nailed right. the, you nailed the song. I would too. also like to be in that movie, Scott. I could be it as a dramatic <laughs> actor. Yeah. Yep. Let's, hear, let's hear your take on it, Peter. <laughs> on, on Freddie Mercury? Yep. yep. All right. <clears throat> Dynamite and a laser beam. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm it's only as good as John. <laughs> comparing it only to Lennon's. If uh, I got the role, I'll say this. Words. If yeah. I got the role, I would give it off to Peter Griffin. Oh. <laughs> that's so nice of that's you. not how it works. I think in Hollywood, the actor you, doesn't get to give away a role yeah, to the actor. You of his get choice. I was on the you impression. You cover your shift. At the very least, somebody's got to throw punch somebody else. <laughs> we just have one last thing to do on the show. That's a little something called plugs. <laughs> Let's hear that one more time. (laughs) No, thank you. That was Plug Ivan by Kofau. All right, let's plug it up. Let's go around the horn. John Lennon, starting with you. Let's go clockwise. Oh, yeah, well, I'm trying to get that Indiegogo started, I guess, now for the linen company. So if you have any leads on that, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, check my uh, sh- podcast out, Questions for Lennon. That's it. Behind the paywall, of course. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, John Lennon, what do you want to plug? Oh, I've got a big 2019 coming up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll look out for it. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> In about uh, two weeks or That's so. That's right. More right, questions great. for Lennon coming out. Let's see, who is next? Oh, yeah, John Lennon. What do you have to plug? Well, you know, you can always have some fun watching the Birthday Boy show on Netflix. Oh, wow. What about the DVDs? Are they coming out? <laughs> you know, I don't think they are. <laughs> <laughs> a similar think, situation. I think somebody, you know, stopped that dead its tracks, <laughs> realizing that it costs more money to make a thing that no one wants to buy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like sound business. <laughs> yeah. But people do watch it on Netflix. 
<laughs> um, and as I Thank mentioned you. last time I was on, keep an eye on that Super Bowl halftime show. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was just announced Coldplay is playing. Uh, well, maybe I might. somebody in this room might be making an appearance. Andrew Lloyd Webber, I'm looking right at it. I can't that, say. Take that mirror down for crying out loud. <laughs> okay, who was... N- oh, John, what do you got to play? Oh, I'll be going on the road with Mr. Heavenly. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Hell yeah. Yeah, I had a great time with you guys, so I'll do some guitar solos if you want. I can do them all before the show. <laughs> you just pre-record them? Or? I'll jump, no, I'll jump out and do some guitar solos for the oh, audience. Just, just, and then they'll remember the solos yeah, when, no, when say, the songs come Thanks up? for letting me do that. Here's Mr. Heavenly to play their songs without okay. my solos in them. Interesting. interesting. And uh, yeah, check out my podcast, Questions for Lennon, and uh, uh, we never talked about what I want for Christmas. Oh, what do you want for I Christmas? need Tupperware. I've got spaghetti and bags all over the house. <laughs> okay, so if anyone wants to donate any Tupperware. <laughs> no, no, oh. Not donation. I, I Wait, want you want new Tupperware. Wait, yeah, why please. all over the house? Why not just, if it's in bags, yeah. keep it in the fridge. Keep it in the fridge. No, there are, I've got fridges in every room. Mm, all right, uh, John Lennon, what are you plugging? Well, check me out, you know, up in Minneapolis. Sure. For the first stop of my tour, we'll be playing Better Man. And uh, don't you have some episodes of your show that just came out? That's right, we've got... <laughs> We've got. A, I was going to get to that. We've got questions for Lennon on Howl. Some new episodes just That's came out right, last week. That's right, six new episodes. Yeah. And we've got the holiday episode coming out, too. Oh, boy, this is great. This is your podcast where you take uh, listener questions. That's right. You can email in questions, and I'll answer them with a guest. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, John Lennon, what do um, you <laughs> Well, this summer I'm going to be recording a new album after I do... Backspace, I'm going to do Joshua Tree by you 2 put it on tape. <laughs> okay, great. We'll see you then. So look for me driving my RV around the country listening mm-hmm. to that mm-hmm. album, those two albums. And then go on Twitter and follow Ringo. All right, very and good. And my cancer. Is he doing autographs anymore? Ringo? Yeah. Just for one special fan, me. <laughs> oh, He'll good. sign anything I want. <laughs> All right, let's close up for the last time ever for this song on the show. Let's close up the old plug bag. Thank fucking God. Whoa! It's time to open it. It's time to open Oh, I'm going to miss that one. Pres- Nobody is going to miss Preston <laughs> Pressman Easter or Preston Pressman Easter. I can't remember. He did the remix of that. Uh, he shouldn't have. <laughs> R.I.P. That song. Yeah, a year to memorize his name. Hey, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. And cut. This has been an Earwolf production. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Drums.